What up, y'all? The merch is live. If you guys want this fire Nikki Ride shirt, you gotta check out NikkiRideAllAccess.com. Come get some. All right, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to Nikki Ride All Access. Today, I have uh, a couple of phenomenal guests, a couple of spectacular people, uh, people that uh, actually helped me out tremendously in life, and especially this guy, uh, Reese Humphrey, right here. You know, my uh, NGRTC wrestling coach. It's good to what have up, you today. What up, man? I'm excited <laughs> to be here. Oh, yeah. We have RBY in the house, a phenomenal Penn State wrestler, up and comer. I mean, I can't really say up and comer because he's there. He's at the top uh, and still headed forward. So what's happening, bro? RBY. Excited to be on the show. Let's get it. Pop CJ it. And, my boy, and his buddy Justin. My boy, what's happening? All, all guys we train with. And, and you know, it, it's interesting because wrestling is such a dynamic sport and such a tough sport. But at the same time, you have guys, uh, w you know, with pers positive personalities, pos positive outlooks like you guys that constantly, constantly get along. How is it kind of spreading the love and be able to travel uh, throughout your sport? Man, traveling, traveling is probably the craziest thing in wrestling, man. We go overseas. Well, we used to. Quarantine has shut that down. But we used to go overseas like every couple of months and seeing all these different places, all these different people, the best wrestlers across the whole world. Man, traveling is just like it's, uh, it's one of the coolest parts of the sport. And you get to see a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different types of people. And, uh, yeah, man, it's cool. You've been traveling a little bit, Roman? Yeah, I'm a traveling guru. You know, I'm just everywhere all over the U.S. training, meeting new people, uh, training jits, MMA. Yeah. I mean, I'm training with some good fighters. And uh, I just travel, take a knowledge from everyone, and just help out. How's the Jersey Shore treating you this summer? Yeah, that's a different breed right there. I was out there <laughs> this past week, and I couldn't keep up. I was hanging out with Sebastian Rivera. We were on the shore every night, and uh, couldn't keep up. It's a crazy lifestyle. I'm sure it's off-season. Those guys, those boys go hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually good. Rutgers having Sebastian, that's a big fucking upgrade. I mean, him and Seriano is going to be an interesting duo. Um, now, dude, I don't know. It's I mean, a tough fucking lineup. I mean, they got Aragona still down there at 41. You know, you got you got Sebas jumping in Alvarez. there. Alvarez. Alvarez, Alvarez as well. Or he's at 41. Sammy at 33. Uh, then Suriano. I don't, I don't really know what Suriano's doing, what his plan is. But. I don't know. That boy's yoke. He got some. Yeah, he's kind of on his own path. He got yeah. on his own. He's definitely, he really definitely true. I remember like the first conversation I had with Suriano. I was like, I was, I went off the mat and I was just like, I guess it was after practice. We ended up talking about like our future goals like immediately. I was like, damn. <laughs> like, this is the first. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, this is your opener. He's like, yeah, I wonder where World Champ, what's your name? <laughs> I was like, word. <laughs> word, let's go. That sounds like him. Yeah. 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 He's a good dude, though. He's and then, bro, whenever you whenever you talk, just move the mic a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this good? Yeah, yeah. And then you can move it. With, if you hold the metal here, bro, you can All slide right. the metal. I'm trying to share it with CJ, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Move the metal. Yeah, wow. but be, don't oh, be okay. careful, bro. Don't touch yeah. this. Uh, uh -huh. Don't touch the cable. Just, like, move the... <laughs> bro, my first, like, two podcasts, I was, like, I was talking a, a, a foot away from here. So yeah. All right. I feel you. All right. All good. All good. I'm in here. I'm right yeah. here, guys. Is this good? It's good. You look, right. look good to me. Good stuff. I'm ready. I'm ready for talking. That sounds a lot better. All right, good. <laughs> bro, bro, I have I have to ask you right because uh, I've been a, a fan of Penn State wrestling for for years. You know what I mean? When I'm when I was in middle school, high school, study you guys. Now Flo obviously has the, this like little film about you guys. Uh, and it, it gives us a little bit in in depth perspective. Um, I'm pretty much the mentalities that you have, and I always hear you guys preach, "Have fun." I'm having fun. I have fun with it. Uh, how much does that like, what do you mean by having fun? I think a big thing is just uh, being the same every day, you know? Being the same in the big matches, in those big moments, you're going to be the same way you were in the wrestling room. And it's just the, the way the KO's mentality is kind of, like, gears you to, makes you think about everything. It makes, puts a lot of things in perspective. And I think a lot of people take uh, wrestling too serious, and they take their life too serious. And over there, it's just, it's just not serious. And People grind every day. We're not sitting there grinding every day. We're not wrestling live for hours every day. We're not running sprints, waking up 6 a.m., doing all this crazy stuff. So I think it's just kind of that mentality. And then uh, it's kind of on your own. So, like, you're there, and you have everything you need to be an NCAA champ, and the coaches are there to guide you. So if it doesn't happen, it's probably on you. So, But, I mean, the thing is, uh, the thing is what people don't understand is you can't do that at every program. Mm -hmm. Every program's different. All the guys there want to be there, but that's not, how, that's not how it is at every program, if that makes sense. No, that, definitely, and I feel like I've learned uh, I've learned a lot of this like in jujitsu as far as uh, being able to play with it or have fun with the sport because in wrestling like I was constantly taught to just like 
work harder and it's going to work out. You know what I mean? Not, not really you no know, much technical aspect when I was younger, just like do it more, do it faster, do it stronger, try more and you'll get it. And that's not the case. You know, yeah, you have to be, not. you have to be not only a little bit more athletic, but you have to be a smarter, uh, more technical grappler and wrestler. If you want to succeed at that high level. Yeah. I think, uh, one big thing too, is just knowing when to go hard and knowing when to pull back. I think they have that pretty down to the T. Well, even, even like your, your go hard because I, I we've had the pleasure of rolling with each other and I've had the pleasure of seeing you roll many times. Uh, so like go hard, like I feel like some people mistake that for just like blow your wad. Like a lot of guys will just go hard as hard as they can for the thirty seconds, not really they, realizing they have eight more minutes uh, where they have to keep a hard fast pace. Like we're just nonstop exploding and you're, you're killing yourself, and then you realize like, hey, I have to slow this down and kind of work on a, a, a mental mental pace. Yeah, I think that's a big thing. That I think that our jump levels from last year is just knowing how to put the pressure on guys and uh, and knowing when to pull back a little bit. But I'm still learning. Yeah, Reese has helped me out too. Yeah, every time talk- I catch up with him, I'm still learning. I'm still learning this game. That's why I love it. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. It's like he's a great sprinter. Mm-hmm. Like when he's doing his crazy stuff, bouncing around, that's when he's his best. But you have to have the in between too. Yeah. You got to know how to thumb block and and not stall but still put pressure on while you're taking those breaks because you can't go 100 the whole six minutes, seven minutes for college guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to have that in between. Now, I got to be honest. So, like, the day after you trained with us at Henzo's the first time, I was like, all right, I'm going to try to keep this motherfucker's pace, right? So I would go into practice, and I was like, for the two hours I was there, I was fucking hopping around, bouncing back and forth. I was maybe good for like 30 minutes, and then I was fucking gassed. I was like, how is he keeping this pace the whole time? Because it's not like you're just doing it during, during live. You're you're doing it during drilling. You're doing it in, in the yeah. whole session. Yeah. Does it, it was a car, it was a hard to kind of develop that? No, it's just, I mean, just always. I mean, one thing we always do is just always drilling hands on always, yeah. but it's not crazy. We're just always all in their face. But yeah, I mean, that's how I, when I wrestle those guys at uh, what's what I call it, Renzo's, Renzo's, yeah. Renzo's uh-huh. they get so tired. <laughs> but they tap me out, so I can't say yeah. much. It's it's different. It, it's different muscles. It's why I like I like going not only by Henzo's. I come to train with you guys because it it helps me with the with the short burst, uh, you know, explosions. I have to I have to be technical everywhere and kind of be smarter everywhere as well. And that's where that's where Reese comes in. Yeah, man. I'm. Well, let's, let's touch on a couple of things. I want to talk about uh, how much fun we're having, too, at the NJRTC with CJ and I doing stupid TikToks on the day. Yeah. Oh, uh, for you that don't know, Reese Humphreys went viral multiple times for his highlight go. takedowns. Let's Damn, go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, but we're just always having fun because wrestling's such a grind. You can't do just wrestling and just lift weights and eat rocks and be like Iowa dudes. Yeah. Be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't I, have fun. I know me. I personally couldn't live like that. Some people can. Maybe it works for them. But for me, like I got to be able to do like a different challenge that's so outside the sport, and just to keep my focus and keep my motivation going. And so, like having fun is such a huge part of doing the grind on the mat, but also like enjoying being there. Like yeah. wrestling practice is one of my favorite parts of every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, you got to have the technique part too. In in wrestling and jujitsu and any combat sport pretty much anything in life if you're not focused on the details then you're going to fall behind pretty quick yeah um i feel like diversity in your training can just 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 lead to more uh different abilities on the mat i mean not everybody that they can uh do a cartwheel on the mat can uh not everybody can that can is wrestling can do a cartwheel on and off the mat you know what i mean so like things like that there people don't see that as a defensive takedown or as defense but but like guys like are we wow use that shit every day so yeah like uh, yeah, yeah, and I think I, I just want to say I think re- what Reese is doing too is is kind of like bringing a little bit more personality to the sport. I think we're kind of in that progression. The sport as a whole is growing. Yeah. You know, you see more creative stuff on a daily basis. We got we got you know Sports Center top ten. You know, we got wrestling <laughs> showing up there. I mean, it's big for the sport to show a little bit more personality, creativity. Bryce is a big a, yeah. a big name in, in the sport as well. Kind of just making a name for himself in that sense. So it, I think it, it all goes into growing the sport big time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think I mean I think Penn State changed that. That's, Penn that's State changed that thing. whole mindset. It it used to be like you said, grind, grind, grind. You want to get better, work harder. But that's not it. You need the technique. You need to have fun. And I think Penn State was like the trailblazers in that. And they started winning. It's annoying that they keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but at least it's a technical aspect. And I think USA Wrestling is getting so much better be, because of that. 
Yeah, you got to have the technical aspect. I know, like, like I honestly hear a lot of people, like, blame Penn State's success on, they're like, oh, they all the best guys. It's like, okay, but you see other best guys go to other programs and fall off. Guy, guy, guy speak in high school constantly and do, then do nothing in college. So it definitely says something to, to the technical aspect. And it's, like, it, it's hard, like, I feel like being at the senior level because not only match, not only every match, like, somebody's a fucking national champ, multiple-time national champ, uh, you have, everybody's already at that 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 pinnacle. So everybody, it, so I feel like learning the technique, it's it's a little bit more important and a little, a little bit harder because every every little individual movement movement kind of matters more. Yeah, and the best guys want to go there. Yep. You know, if yep. you're in a recruiting battle with, with there's a couple of schools that really battle for the best guys, but it's like Penn State tends to get the best guys, and that's that's a big part of it. Yep. The culture. I mean, they've, they've developed they've developed the culture. I mean, you, you hear RBY say it. It's like, you know, you, you've got all the coaches, the best coaches, um, all your teammates are striving for those same goals, and if you don't necessarily attain that, it's kind of on you. That's something that is a different type of buy-in. You know what I mean? You're, you're all in. You believe it, you bleed it, you know what I mean? And that's that's what I think they've developed there. It's almost, you know, it's just a complete different belief in the success that they've built. And everybody coming in wants to be a part of it. And they're bought in that much easier, that much that much bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah, for Big sure. Time. And, like, Reese, so being at, like, because you competed and, and did pretty well at, at uh, USA Nationals, right? Yeah. Uh, what is that the name of the tournament? US, U.S. Open. U.S. Open. Yeah, I've won it okay. three times. Let's yeah, go. no big deal. No big deal. I won it three times. Bro, three times. <laughs> Now, uh, like, because to me, it seems like a lot of Penn State guys don't seem anxious when they're wrestling. How was how is it for you dealing with anxiety when you're competing? Yeah, I mean, it's okay to be nervous. A couple of things I've learned over the years, and like mainly the biggest time I learned this, I'll talk about, it, is when I went into beach wrestling because I had been retired, and then this I is got, pretty recent. This is pretty recent. Yeah, I went to Rio, Brazil, and did beach wrestling. Flow Wrestling called me up and was like, "Hey, we want someone to do that." And I'm the only guy that's was like kind of good enough and still training all the time that wasn't on the senior scene still. Um, so I went. It was awesome. I wrestled some really good guys, but I was nervous like two days out. And my heart rate was up, and I, it kind of taxed me when it was time to go because I've never practiced beach wrestling. I was just kind of out of my element. But it's okay to be nervous the hour before, kind of good that your body knows you're getting ready to get in a fight. Mm -hmm. But if you're nervous a day before, two days before, turn on some music, hang out with your friends, get distracted. Get rid of those nerves, but like staying calm, I don't know, a day before is really important. Being nervous right before is probably a good thing. You're getting ready to get yeah. in a fist fight. You might as well be nervous. Get your body ready. That's true. That's true. I think wrestling is much more uh, of a fight as opposed to jiu-jitsu for yeah. sure. I mean, you don't have the head banging. You don't have the head slapping. I mean, most matches. Well, if you're fighting Nick and Rob, bro, you have a lot of that shit. I'm going to fuck <laughs> you. Know? Yeah, I'm going to fuck that guy up. But <laughs> that's different. <laughs> that's because I come from this background. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah, you don't see too many guys, like, you know, bloodied up and, and bruised up. Now, how was it like the beach wrestling? Was it a big transition as far as, like, the grips because it must be a little bit harder to a little bit different to explode in the sand so much different and i i did not practice for it i practiced for it on a <laughs> on a mat i underestimated so right on the mat you practice for it on the mat no oh like zero God. times i was like everyone's warming up and they're kind of just like running around off the sand and i was thinking i need to get on the sand yeah i gotta feel this out because when you drive off you almost go backwards so the shots are a whole total different feel oh. I, I mean i still did a lot of upper body stuff but the guys i was wrestling they were all former world team members, and I just had no idea what I was getting into. But uh, I did well. I mean, I lost to the guys that ended up first and second at the actual Worlds. Yeah. I ended up getting third. So, uh, yeah, man, it was, a, it was a really cool experience. I would love to do it again, but, like, sponsors for it are not there yet. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah. But I would definitely love to do it. What would you say? Is it, like, just takedowns, obviously? Or no takedowns, yeah, the rule said it's, it's – Can the, you touch the legs? Like, can you do, like – You can touch the legs. You can't touch your knee to the, to the sand, though. Mm -hmm. So you touch your knee, that's a point. You step out, that's a point. You take them down, it's a point. And if you throw them to their back, it's three, but it's got to be, like, flat to the back. If they roll off, it's one. So okay. your knees your so knees can't hit the sand at all? Your knees can't hit – you could, like, tap your knees and pick them up, like, yeah. if continuation. But the second it stops. But if I push you down, I front headlock you and put you down on the, on the sand, that's a point, too. Damn. And so it's like a mix between Greco and freestyle, but, dude, it's the future. It, it really is. The rule set is so clear. It's easy for the spectators. The spectators get to be on the beach. That's why this is the dream for me. I want to coach <laughs> Olympic beach wrestling. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about the dream. Send me there. But, like, still, for, like, high school and think about parents going to the gym compared to going to hang out on the beach, have yeah. a pina colada, and then your kid's up. Sweet. That sounds like a great day. Yep. That's a nice little Saturday. Yeah. Plus, all, right. those, all those locations are in nice 
nicer areas, obviously, if you're going to somewhere in a, in a beach, talk about tra- travel in the world and whatnot, you're going to go to nice places. You have to. I mean, it's, sure. it's definitely a whole different vibe. For sure. Now, bro, how, how, do, you, uh, how do you deal with the anxiety of, of competing at the high stages? Being, being at NCAAs is fucking next level. Yeah, I should see. What's funny is uh, my friend NCAA is my true freshman year. I've never been to NCAAs in my life. So, like. That's great. Did you at least go to watch? No, I've never been to watch. My first NCAA championship was the one I wrestled in. So I was wow. like, this is fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was in a big wrestling fan back in the day where I was watching it every weekend, yeah. like some people. But I just got there and it was just crazy. And the uh, thing was with me. So when I got there my freshman year, I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. But now that I now that I wrestled in it, now I know, like, yo, yeah. I'm here. I'm, like, I took eighth. I was like, yo, I could fucking win it. Yeah. So, so like, now I had that mentality going last year. Like, if I'm here, I might as well just win it. But freshman year, I was like, I was shocked. I was like, yo, why is there so many people? It's crazy out here. There's a hundred cameramen on the side. This like, yo, what's going on? I bet you like the second you walk out there, just fucking hits you like, oh, yeah, you just hear shit. like echoing in your <laughs> headgear and yeah. shit like that. It's like, Pittsburgh, how many people? Pittsburgh was at that hockey. Pittsburgh was at the hockey stadium, and and we overflowed that thing. Like yeah, it was like oh, standing wow. room only, almost. You know, it was a smaller venue for what we usually host NCAA's at. So for you to step on the mat there. You you look up you, you know people are basically on top yeah. of you at that point. How, how many? What's the crowd like that? Is it yeah, yeah. five, ten k people? Maybe it was limited 20? this year. Yeah, twenty k, yeah. bro. Wow. Twenty, twenty two. That's massive. Bro, yeah. what was ADCC like ten? Yeah, ADCC was ten, and I think uh, it's, got, it's supposed to be like four times bigger in, in Vegas than yeah. next year, twenty twenty one. Yeah, dude, I wrestled in the finals, and that was the first time it really affected me. Yeah. Really? I walked, yeah, I ran out there. It's like I mean, because you're the only one out there. You're the only one out there. So, (laughs) so like normally, big match. I'm nervous, and then I walk out there, slap hands, it's gone. Yeah. The finals. I ran out there. I was first one to go out there, and Gomez, the guy I was wrestling the finals, he walked. Oh. And I I had that second. I stretched and I looked around. I was like, oh shit, (laughs) this is big match, and it it totally like affected my performance. Yeah. And uh, so walk. Walk when you make it there. Walk, take your time. Take like your man, time. it's no big deal. No. I was like, man, he doesn't care, and I'm really nervous. Yeah, and it affected me. That that definitely you have to you have to be kind of not care. You have to kind of like put yourself outside of that. For me, like when I was in ADCC, I was like. I was like, this is just another match. This is just another practice, you know? Like, I was going to treat it like a live go, uh, but mentally, I wasn't going to put myself like I'm at the fucking Olympics, you know? Right. Yeah. I think, Don't get in your head too much because uh, it, it can get to you. It's yeah, too I think, easy. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the fans make a big difference. Like, in Rec Hall, I run out there, I feel untouchable. But I think uh, last year, I went to ASU and, like, I know my whole family, my whole town was there. I got taken down first and I hear the crowd go crazy. Oh, man. And I was like, <laughs> Walk. We went out of bounds. I was like, you know, shit. everybody in this, like, like, you yeah, fucking traitor. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're I was all like, yo, <laughs> what just happened? And then I meant, then it starts throwing you off. I'm like, so then I got to come back with that. Yeah, I think. And then I wrestled at the flow event. There was no fans. I kind of yeah. liked that. It was just mad quiet. Just, uh, I could hear the spectators talking. It was just silence. I kind of like that. What yeah. flow event was that? Um, Who's number one? It was, oh, no, sweet, bro. No, it wasn't even. Number one. It was just. Just a money match? Tamizo versus Dave. Oh, right. Yeah. Just recently. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Kind of turn, put it on the gas. That match that was good to watch. <laughs> yeah, was, was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that was the first time I have ever seen Dake like get kind of tired because you can tell he wasn't in fucking like tip top shape. Yeah. You know, still obviously See, an animal. I don't know, man. I think he was in really good shape. I mean, he put the pace on from the beginning. I think Chimizo is just a little bit better than everybody. Yeah, yeah, surprised. yeah. Chimizo is good. Yeah, like people yeah. think he's oh, uh, Dake's gonna go and take him. That's it's the body. Happen. He looks soft. He looks yeah. like like, like he, he looks kind of wide. Yeah. 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 I was one of those people. I yeah, Dake was gonna take him. <laughs> no, nah, there's no like yeah. the way I see it is there's no way you're gonna tech yeah, him. But I know how Chimizo, world like, champ. I know yeah. how important it was to Dake, and I know how it Chimizo didn't give a shit. A little bit of a grudge like, match, right? Yeah, he just like whatever, I'll beat him. Yeah, like, I've I watched him train. He just he trains every once his, in a while. His excuse immediately, he was like, "Yeah, if it, if it was a different weight class, no chance, yeah, no right. chance." And me. Dake's like sunbathing his microbes. <laughs> yeah, fuck he says. He has awesome. everything done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what you, I don't know how he does. He, so he's all in. Chimizo's like whatever, yeah. and Chimizo's standing straight up, and Dake like really couldn't do that much to him. But like, it, he yeah. really got beat in the one gut wrench. If you heard him, Dake was starting to do like he was kind of thinking retrospectively too like right after the match he was kind of I don't want to say they were excuses but he was definitely throwing out things to justify his performance because he knew he didn't he didn't necessarily compete to how he wanted to right we were all saying tech whatever he was saying you know like uh, it's, it's a little weird not being able to train with my, my training partners he had to train with I think it was yeah. Dean or whatever it's and a weird time yeah he's like I just I wasn't as prepared you know this and that I mean I, I get it I don't think it was excuses really but he definitely he was kind of in shock with how, how it, 
how much D- right. yeah. Chimizo was in that match with him. I, I think I think so, but honestly, when when I look back at like uh, you know Dake versus Burrows and then Dake versus Chimizo, I see the main difference. Uh, you know, it gets it seemed like to me like he was a little bit more tired in the stance against Chimizo, a little bit lazier with the hands, and wasn't attacking. Uh, Quite as much because, like, to me, it seems like it seems like they could, you know, could definitely got the tech. Yeah, well, I mean, he beat a two time world champ. I know, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, uh, yeah, we're all, yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. putting Dake yeah, at a sure, very high sure. standard and yeah. he deserves it, but like, dude, it's still a really good win. And it, times are weird right now, yeah. but and matchups too, just because Burroughs Chimizo is close and they scrap doesn't mean that that needs to be close. It turns out it was, but these dudes are all the best of the best, and you really can't fathom how good these dudes are. Oh, yeah, like. They're levels above whatever I ever got to. And, like, guys who are winning the Worlds consistently, it's such a crazy difference from guys who medal consistently to the guys who have a chance at meddling. Yeah. There's just so many levels of this thing. So those dudes that are – Burrow has won his first 69 matches on the senior level. Wow. Like, Damn. What? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. People still, like, uh, like, in the comments, they'll, like, talk crap. So, like, <laughs> they don't understand, like – I don't know. Like, even, like, when I got to Penn State, like, my first year, like – from high school to Penn State, like I didn't even realize like the, the separation, like yeah. the level I was at compared to them. You know, everyone's yeah. just so good. Like you don't you don't understand how, oh, you like don't. there's really levels to yeah. It. yeah like really. all these high school kids, like you win two or three state titles. Like I'm gonna win the Olympics. Oh, buddy, you're not gonna get a takedown. <laughs> yeah. You might not get a takedown at college practice. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. There's so many levels. It's crazy. Right, so, wait, what's the goal? Like most wrestlers, is, is it to end up in the Olympics? Is it to like win the Olympics? Probably? That would be the pinnacle. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, I feel Olympics. like uh, I feel like that's like saying so cliche though. That shit's probably not gonna happen <laughs> for a lot of us. Just being real. There's six weights and there's yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's not. It's not even. Wrestling's a humongous. It's not even fair. Yeah, it's big in the U.S. Yeah. and overseas. It's even, yeah. even bigger. You know. Yeah. But in the Penn State room, there's like four. Yeah. Guys like I don't. Even, I don't go. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I don't go around saying that. That's my goal because that shit's cliche. Shit, like my goal is to get a takedown in practice, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you. <laughs> score a point. Yeah. For real. <laughs> that's the thing about wrestling too. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of wrestlers put all this work in. As to like football or something they put all this work in but they have that end goal the nfl mm-hmm. and they're getting paid millions as in wrestling you're putting all this shit. work in and you're making you know you're not making a lot of money unless you win unless you become <laughs> number one in the world <laughs> you're probably you, unless yeah, you're you like, get to that point look at the day day chimizo i mean just just straight up yeah creating these opportunities that you know flow just hitting guys up here and there get, get one big match at the top of the card and then you get to start sprinkling guys like you know like rby that's definitely bringing in you know yeah. a crazy amount of of hype for, at the college level you know i think I think they could maybe mix in a folk style match here and there too soon too. You know what I mean for some yeah, of these can, college guys. Yeah, they can. I think with this stuff going on, they can play with it a lot. I mean, it's gonna be a weird year for it's gonna be a weird uh, norm for a while. But I know you guys just saw Reese tweet the other day. It's all about that side hustle and <laughs> that social media. <laughs> I'm I'm learning on that. I'm on that right there. Yeah, bro. So yeah. it's all as soon about as I can media. make money off my name, it's a wrap. It, it it just ma- there's no downfall to being uh more having followers on social media. There's no downfall if you have 20k, your friend has 50k, both have the same accolades. Guy with the 50k is going to make more per seminar, per private, per competition, per everything. You're worth more. Yeah, dude, it's it's huge to brand yourself because these dudes are getting kind of famous now. Yeah, like Burroughs, Dake, all the best of the best, and the guys who brand themselves well, like Roman. Like, these dudes are starting to make money at camps. They're starting to, like you said, yeah. their price goes up. Because sure. more people know you. They're asking about you. When you do a good job, everybody hears about it. But also, more people are watching. You Thanks. better not say the wrong thing anymore. You're not. <laughs> you're, you're under the spotlight yeah. a little bit. Learned that lesson pretty recently. Yeah. 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 Oh. We did. We did. We did. We did. You did. We did. Talking about Reese. Oh. I, mean, I mean, not Reese. Talking no. about uh, yeah. Downey. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 That yeah. was unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I was supposed to have uh, Downey on the podcast on Bro. on Monday, right? Yeah. And he texted me Sunday night. He was like, "Yo, like definitely, I'm coming in." I was like, "All right, word, bro. I'll see you at 10 a.m." He then he he leaves a comment in my pit photos <laughs> under like a podcast post, and he was like, "Oh, like I'm gonna be in the in there tomorrow. This is like midnight." Yeah. He's like, "All right, well." Like previously, he's canceled twice on me, right? But uh-huh. like day before, he hasn't hit me up. So I was like, "All right, obviously, he's not gonna show." So, so. <laughs> fucking Monday morning comes and I shoot him a text at like 8 supposed to be here by like 10.30 and just it doesn't even deliver like the phone was off and then I was like alright like, guaranteed you're not coming in <laughs> yeah. bro he's done this to us like three times now yeah, he was supposed yeah. to be one of our first guests same thing didn't even show up and then one day we fucking drove like two hours bro down to his house all uh-huh. the way down to his fucking house for 9am uh, like outside workout YouTube video yeah. YouTube video 
fucking guy doesn't even he doesn't he's not even there. No, nope. he's like in another crazy. state. Or we did, we did get a good video though. Yeah, we got a great video. I don't even think he was in another state. I think we guarantee he was just fucking sleeping, yeah. shut the phone off. That's damn, bro. It's entirely yeah. possible. Yeah, man. but uh, See, that's that's kind of what I'm talking about though. Like you gotta, too many people are watching to screw up now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a shame because you know Downey has a fucking good personality. Like, I think well, he's I think he's a good person. He's fucking fun to be around. You know, it's hard. It's hard. Hard to hate him. You know. Right. Yeah. No. He's great. He's great. He's really great in person. Once you get him there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I'm never going to talk bad about no, that. No, you know. No. But it's, a, it's just kind of a lesson of the things that you need to do. Dude, I mean, fucking honestly, it could could end up one of the best fucking fighters on the planet. I, I mean, think it's gonna if, be if he if he puts if he puts the work in, motherfucker could get UFC gold in a couple of years. So like, yeah, we'll see. That's no We're joke. Find man. out. You never know. I hope so, man. I would love to watch him. He's go going to. That. He's going to the right camp he's too. One the, he's yeah. one of the toughest dudes I've ever come across. In my Mentally, whole life. like Mentally doesn't give a tough. fuck. Is like is like if we're fighting, we're gonna fight. Like he like when he says on this on, on, on in person and on these videos, like yo, like we can fight right now. He means like <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, like, right now, right now. Right now. And he's yeah. not joking. No. And no. but once I've seen him broken, so tired. And never quit. No. Never, ever quit. In practice, never giving up a point. And it's All hard to do, find people like that, bro. There's, there's not many that, to that level of toughness. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, very very few people can push like that. I mean, I see some, even some fighters, you know, yo, they'll be like so tough. And then their first time they get punched, it's like, oh, shit, this is different. Right. Yeah. This Downey different. won't. Downey will love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he love it. More. It gets better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Um, yo, so you guys prefer to fight with big ass crowds or like like you're doing right now with nobody in the audience? Which what's easier? Yeah, I mean, I've I've done both, I, and I really don't matter. Uh, so I mean, like University Worlds, I wrestled in Greece and in Italy in the finals. There's like seven people there, and my coach goes, "Hey, just because nobody's here doesn't mean this isn't a huge match." Yeah. And then you've had the NCAA finals where there's twenty thousand people, and I mean, it makes you a little more nervous. But I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of people watching, even if it's just online streaming it now. And uh, so, I mean, it's really the stakes of the match and the level of competition that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. If you get a pick, right, you pick a no crowd or a ball to the wall, like, packed? I home, mean, home crowd? Home crowd. Home crowd's <laughs> fire. Home crowd, right? We went to Iowa this year, and that shit was crazy. There was, it was, not there was fucking no blue, mad Iowa people in the stands, yellow, black, <laughs> like, talking shit. Like, it was just, you just <laughs> felt the energy, like, yo, you weren't there to win, and it was crazy, but yeah. I think... Like Red Call's fire, yo. You come out there, they're all everyone's cheering for you, that everyone's on you. Yeah. Like that's dope. But then no crowd is just like it's just silence. I kinda like the no crowd, I'm not gonna lie. For you, what what do you feel like is the main difference uh between jujitsu and wrestling? Because you have the pleasure of, of really training with the best in both. Yeah, I'm being real. Jiu Jitsu is better than wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> in what way? <laughs> in what <Shit>. way? <laughs> what? Yeah, like listen, all these wrestlers who talk that talk, especially all the people who are like in the fans, like you go I'm training with the best guys in the world and they all tap me out so like it's not gonna be, you're not just gonna take them down and hold them down you're gonna get tapped out quick but uh i just think there's more of an it's not more of i guess it's, you can mess around with it more of an art and then you can tap and choke someone out and fucking squeeze to death but, I but think wrestling's a, harder though yeah oh definitely wrestling's definitely harder. harder definitely but jits mentally is, harder bitch, i mean jits is no joke like that yeah. it's just as challenging yeah, but it's harder in different senses. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the the, the jujitsu, there's so much more. We talk about technique. There's yeah, it's, it's an art, craziness. You know, much more time consuming if you're gonna get good at it. I think. Oh yeah, I think I think like you can get good at wrestling uh, a little bit faster jujitsu just because of like if you can learn to just stop somebody's takedown hand hand fight, you can do a lot with that. You know, and those are those are not super technical things that can go a long way. As in jujitsu, if you don't know, if you can know a submission, like you can know how to do an armbar, but if you don't know how to break an arm, then the guy can just chill out in the armbar, not tap and be. You know what I mean? I so think. Uh, I think our best wrestlers would probably get tapped out by the best jujitsu players. That's a fact. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, at, at first, at first, the thing is like. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is like I I feel like guys that can ride. With boots on top, they can follow and, and usually get riding top in the matches. That they'll probably do a lot better in, in jujitsu than most like freestyle guys. I was gonna say, did did you, did you ride legs when you when you were wrestling like that? I mean, you're so natural at throwing the boot and whatnot. It seems like it was an easy transition for you. Uh, yeah. So like, I would ride legs a little bit, but every time I do it in practice, I was like falling off 
and like kind of against pinning myself. So like yeah. I didn't have I didn't have the coaches to tell me like the right technique. They were just like, oh, throw boots and kind of like hope for the best, you know. So <laughs> I was like, all right, well, I kind of just shied away from that when, when I was in high school. Then in college, kind of the same thing. Like I, I practiced myself and learned a little bit about myself, but I didn't have the coach to like that knew that much. And then once I train, start training with you, and then once I started training with John, honestly, John was like, listen, you gotta have long arm, short arm, gotta uh, have a full Nelson here or half Nelson here, like, and just like the way you distribute the body and fucking works out perfect now now i can ride boots all day i'm not hurting myself sometimes i'd like have guys roll over my leg or something and be it'd be an issue but like tech technical man all about fucking well, he's a wizard i mean i mean one one practice in that room you could tell like he is yeah surgical is surgical that, john danaher yeah that dude's crazy so uh yeah i got when did i get in contact with you first uh Probably maybe like a couple months ago. a couple months ago yeah yeah so a couple months ago i just reached out like yo can can we come and train i want to train some jets like you were saying diversity and training we have nothing coming up and uh I was getting bored, so me and my boy Justin, we were uh, we just been going out here to Henzo's and we just trained jits. And I'm wrest I'm wrestling all these uh, what do you call yeah, the best only, name? The only guy that shows up at Henzo's with wrestling. And I'm wearing shoes wrestling on. shoes. I'm just wrestling them <laughs> because <laughs> I'm not used to being barefoot. But uh, but yeah, so I'm learning all this stuff, and John's teaching all this crazy shit, and like it all makes sense. So like while I'm going there, I'm getting this other training, and and now I'm thinking of ways how I'm going to use this jujitsu in my matches and how I can break someone's arm, but like getting away with it in wrestling. So <laughs> shit like that, I'm just like picking up on. So like we're going yeah. there today, but I just been going there a lot and I'm just picking up on those little things and just adding stuff to my training because it's not boring because I'm yeah. getting my ass kicked. So I That's like fun. that. It gives you something to work towards or something, something to, else to learn. Yeah. Like I feel like honestly, uh, if I knew a little bit more, not only leg riding, but like like pommeling or, um, I mean, you, got, you guys saw uh, Bo Nichols match with Gordon, right? Where he did that scissor takedown. Oh, that's kind of legal. Bro. That's kind of legal in freestyle, for, right? For most, for the most part. So, like, if I learned something like that, and then how to how to control the legs, because there's a way that, like, you know, if you're if opponent has you in a single leg, you're standing up, and you can kind of do that scissor like takedown defensively, control the legs, and you can guarantee you always end up on top, you know, technically, and like. Uh, I wish I learned some stuff just like how to get off bottom bottom more like I feel like the jujitsu it, it helps me kind of uh, eliminate all the all the spaces that I that I need and it helps me create angles a little bit better like you're you're a fantastic uh, roller as far as like grand being and, and creating corners um, that's something that I, I definitely need to strive to develop yeah like uh, I was going with Gary uh, telling it and all we do is fucking roll for that's an interesting dynamic for for you too because. Yeah. It, you're similar in the in the aspect that you will just will not stop moving, and when you get an angle, you'll keep fucking rolling. And he does out. the exact same. Yeah, yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah, what's your uh, when you're when you're trying to follow somebody like that? Like, what's what are you, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to like uh, you more comfortable in like a cross body ride? Or are you going like because you can't really lock hands around the belly like jiu jitsu wise? You would say two uh two arms behind the behind the thing but it depends like gary he just he's sending it from all over the place all over. so you can't really if you roll with it you might hear hey, you got to be careful especially yeah. with gary because he's i don't know how he does it but he does some slick shit when he's <laughs> rolling but yeah, you got to be careful because if you try to follow graham you can hit your head and if you don't fall through that's when they get out but yeah. you have to stay underneath the arms Dude, he'll leg lock you if you if you're behind him <laughs> like standing behind i still him. remember the first time i went with uh gordon ryan he was fucking calf <laughs> i don't know what he was doing yo he was fucking kicking that oh trying to try foot sweep you, you but trying to break bro. your leg at the same time that shit was no joke <laughs> yeah. bro I know you saw that team, oh, yeah. bro. Oh, we heard it, bro. <laughs> Dude, the first time I rolled with Gordon, it was like supposed to be like I go in the practice thing, it's gonna be like six minute rounds. The first, my first goal with Gordon was twenty minutes, and the harder we went, the longer we went. I was John was just looking at us, watching. I was like, <laughs> I was looking at John like, bro, is the fucking time up? Just get the shit beat out of me. I was like, bro, do you not realize I'm 140 pounds, Gordon Ryan? How, how big is he? He was too like he too was dirty. Kick. I was like, bro, I was like trying to jump up. I'm like, bro, yeah, nah, he's there to kill. <laughs> yeah. Same thing though. I mean, you you got the same mentality. You know, one of the one of the funniest things when we came in last time was me, Reese, and Bryce, uh -huh. and uh, we were hopping partners, going all the way around the room. You know, hands on a bunch of different people. We start in all these different positions, and I think the the one was like the guy starts on his back, and you're you know you're covering whatever, and Bryce ends up going with you on this go, right? Uh -huh. You got this <laughs> two hundred forty pound gorilla starting on top of Bryce. And he's yeah. like, yeah, he did not let up one second. Like, <laughs> Uh, break me real quick. <laughs> try to, try to. 
It's hard to get a hold of you guys though, man. Like one one thing that guys don't learn in jujitsu that I think they need to is is the explosivity, like when to go. Because like there's a lot of whistle starts in wrestling. A lot of uh, even when there's not whistle starts, you you're telling your mind like, all right, I go start the movement now, start exploding. These guys, it's, everything's like a like a slow pace. So it's like sometimes I catch myself like I'm moving too fast or I'm doing too much and it's kind of set me up for bad, uh, uh, just in bad in bad positions that than I should be. It's fucking. Well, you, you don't necessarily, you can't follow the technique that you're looking to get if you're moving too fast for your mind. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like it's, a, it's a methodical uh, type deal when you're talking about jits and, and, and being able to you know, move. It's chess pieces. Yeah. You know what I mean? What am I trying to set up the entire time? If you're moving too quick, you can't, you can't necessarily yep. think about those next moves. One thing yeah. also is like, because it's a longer match, maybe 10 minutes or so, you're able to make a, a deeper investment uh in the body as far as like hand fighting like getting your opponent tired so if i have a 10 minute match i can spend five minutes getting the guy tired before i even take a shot there's no stalling calls or nothing you know so is I'm that when you're just banging on the head bro i'm just gonna I'm pull the, the fucking head, head <laughs> get them nice and soft because you guys are guys are different people you know what i mean you're different when you're when you're tired man everybody, everybody. <clears throat> well i mean you're, you're also different after you get smacked in the head like that like these some of these guys <laughs> yeah. in some of these matches you make you ride you know the big big little crowd or whatever back when you used to do the big money matches shake hands wow Right these away. guys, right away, you can see their faces like, whoa, well, yep. I haven't been hit like that. Man. Think of, like, <laughs> Vinny Magalash kind of match. Rolling around. All of them. All yeah, of them. Vinny, Bro, Luke, yeah. Cyborg, Bro, these all matches where you just beat the shit out of people, man. <laughs> just you like, know? Yeah. trying to fight. Yeah. Trying yeah. to fight about it. Yeah, when, when do we get to see that again? What's up with Nikki Ryan? Oh, I, I want to compete, man. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm training seven days a week. When they, when they call me, it's hard now, like... Like because I'm I'm not only doing podcasts, do I do private sports, I fucking train nonstop, but like it have to be it have to be a good match to get me out of bed. I mean, they they were supposed to have me on the on the who's number one thing, uh, but the, the numbers just didn't add up, and I was like, I'm not. I don't <laughs> You're a big numbers guy, huh? Yeah, I, yeah. You gotta we, get paid, huh? The thing is, I I can make you know without traveling, make what I'm make, make usually what I what they were gonna pay me for a competition, just doing a couple of private stuff sure. this week. So it's like, yeah, losing time. Okay, uh, you know. Well, thank you. Be like that. I feel like you are one of the top guys that should be getting paid. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You should, they shouldn't be giving yeah. you tough change. Yeah. Yeah. It's messed up. Like, Pay the man, bro. You gotta train, all the, train like all this time for all this yeah. work and you're not even getting paid what you should be. You know? Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, we usually don't have, don't have problems. It's just, it was just uh, more of a, a last last minute thing. I was like, you know, you're going to have to you know up the ante if you want me to come like tomorrow. You know, it was like, we got a couple, a couple guys pulled out because of coronavirus and stuff, so it was last minute. You yeah. want to save the day, bro. Save the day. Yeah. Save the day. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Uh, bro, you got anything coming up competition-wise or anything? I'm chilling for a minute. I mean, going back to school is crazy with all this stuff. I yeah. give it a month. They're going to send everyone back home. But Do you think you're going to have, like, uh, like a fucking season? I mean, they're canceling Big Ten football. Shit, yeah. I don't know. After yeah. seeing that, I mean, I think right now I'm just expecting the worst. I'm just... We're in, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm still gonna travel. I'm doing camps. I'm just gonna be training. And, and yeah. uh, it's going around January first. You know what it's we need to, to be do? A short season. We need yeah. to have a fucking massive camp where it's jujitsu and wrestling together. Bro, yeah, that's that's right. how many people show up? Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. Massive right now though. Not the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Bro, I, I, honestly, I feel one. like the next wave <laughs> yeah, of like small start one. with a small. One. <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, I feel like the next wave of top jujitsu guys like Nikki, for example, are gonna come from wrestling backgrounds. You know, it's like I feel like you came on the scene in a matter of like. A year, bro. Yeah. Fucked everything up, you know? And I got RBY coming up yeah, and he's going to do the I, same I, shit. I even talked to John. I told him, once I'm done at Penn State, yo, I'm coming over here. I'm going to mess around with it yeah. for a year or two and yeah. see where he can take me because it's fun. It's just something different. And yeah. you can still wrestle and do it at the same yeah. time. So, like, I can go make these easy, easy little matches on the side like all the, like, your boys, Ethan, and all them guys do. And I'm just, yep. and it's just choking people out. So, it's you fun. Get better in one, you're getting better in the other. Yeah, and you're not beating your body up like in wrestling. Yeah. It's hard. To, it's hard to train hard every day. I mean, you guys know about that. It's fucking fucking tough jujitsu. You could go, you could go seven days a week and not be too beat up. You can moderate, you know, train moderately as needed. But uh, to that's, I think that's why it's why a lot of wrestlers like have just wrestle hard in the wrestling season and then kind of do nothing all season. Like it's pretty probably pretty common, right? Yeah, that's why I think once I'm not, I'm gonna come out here for a little bit, train it, see where I can do, and then still wrestle though, of course, but. Have some fun, bro. Be, yeah. be the fucking hybrid. I like it, man. I mean, jujitsu ju is like a, uh, it's it's definitely a, uh, you know long term investment, but I mean, it fucking pays off, man. Definitely. I mean, and anybody. The thing is, like, it's not like the Olympics where like uh, the Olympics you have to win all these things to make it to the trials, and then fucking when the trials make it to the Olympics, like you can just 
pay your fucking $120 and show up to the <laughs> Olympic trials, essentially, of jiu-jitsu. And if you win, you're in the biggest fucking grappling tournament that yeah. the world's ever That's seen. Fine. You're top 16 for your weight already. Uh, you know? Already. Already, bro. Yeah. You know, two tournaments, man, you're there. Now, what's a, a tournament like the like the uh, US Open, right? What's a, How many matches do you have to gold? Five or six. Five or five six. six. Oh, yeah. yeah, five or six. And that's why it's so good to not put so much pressure on being the Olympic champ because yeah. brand yourself because you're going to need these money matches because nobody wins. No. Like very, very few people win. And most of the time it's the same guy wins twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like there's nobody that's making it to that level. So you got to do the things in your power like Roman's doing. Put yeah. yourself in position to get these money matches. As soon as he's done, he's going to be ready to scrap, ready to fight, ready to do whatever he's got to do, and he's going to start getting paid. It's yeah. a good, good spot to be in. Yeah, that's what I was just going back to, like being an Olympic champ and like all the like. If you notice, it's always the same people yeah. are at the top, so it's it's, it's no it's hard. And uh, I'm, I would just pay attention. I'm a good around around a lot of the best guys, so I just see everything they do and they tell me and just let me know. Like, just keep, there's so much more out there than just trying to be an Olympic champ. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys, uh, when you're in the practice room, especially at like Penn State, you guys kind of sit around, around at the practice, you talk about techniques a lot, or is it just like kind of coaching done? Uh, yeah, as soon as practice is over, everyone's in there, I'd say at least for another hour, or just rolling, yeah. doing yeah. extra, like extra pull ups, just something. It's always like, do a little bit more. I'm doing 50 pull-ups a day after practice. Yeah, tell I do us, that every tell single. Tell us more about what goes on in there. If yeah. I do that every. <laughs> if I do that every day. If I swear you guys keep secrets oh, for yeah. everybody. Yeah, I don't know. They got him. He got quiet real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, though. That's great. There is some mystery behind. Oh, yeah, 1,000%. There nobody, there is. Knows, nobody knows shit. This dude told me, I was like, well, what's your recipe for success? He's like, yeah, I do 50 pull-ups after practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The only thing is that, that that's actually what Kale says. He's like, oh, do 50 pull-ups yeah. every day. Yeah. People actually do that. It's, yeah. it's pretty funny. It's actually, like, that's actually a thing. That, like, sometimes I'll be joking around, but like, it's, I'm actually serious, and people don't yeah. people think I'm joking, but like, yeah, yeah. it's actually... Yeah, well, I'm sure there's some truth to it. You know, when you're pissed tired and you do another another yeah. 50, you know, it's going to give you that mental edge. I'll be real with you guys, though. Straight. It's all just learning your mental. I think the mental is the biggest game. And I've, I've came a long way, especially coming out from Arizona. Like, wrestling over there is... Ooh, he was sad when he first got But, yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. When I first got sad. to Penn State, I, I didn't even think it was for me. But I finally found it and I just found the rhythm. But Arizona wrestling is way different. I think with me, I kind of got... Was it because of the atmosphere? I think it's just... I'm just a homebody. I mean, none of my family went to college... Or just anything like that, and wrestling's not big out in uh, Arizona. Yeah, I think I was able to make a lot of gains too. I'm still making gains because I never had good coaching mm-hmm. back in Arizona, so like I never really had any good coaches. I feel like a lot of kids on the East Coast are getting coached so young, and they're already learning this stuff. They really don't. They get to college and they really don't have much to grow on. Yeah. I never had none of that shit growing up. I was, and then now I'm here. Now I'm finally getting it. Now I'm starting to figure it out. But I feel like some younger kids, like on the East Coast. They already have the best coaches teach them everything they can know, and then once they get the, they can't really add on to it. If that yeah. makes sense, but so did you? Did you have like a wrestling club that you were at? When yeah, I mean, just back back in my high school. I mean, it's pretty it's a pretty good high school in Arizona, but like opposed to the East Coast, it's not. Yeah, it's not none too crazy. I mean, if you're if you're in in PA or Jersey, really, we have uh, come a couple of best clubs. You have so a, you have Apex, so you have crazy. Oh, Iron Horse, you have a couple others that that are you know. I think Seriano was an Apex guy, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, for a long time. I'm not sure, not sure yet, but uh, yeah, massive massive wrestling. We have Blair up here as well, North Bergen. So. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, so this past year has been, uh, I guess. Yeah, past year and a half or so has been pretty crazy for NJRTC. Uh, I mean, Reese, you took this fucking, the, you took this uh, regional training center literally from being just an average camp to to being what it is today. I mean, it's, I know. it's, it's I, a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, the bad news bears and the world class heroes. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so we were we were all just like misfits that people didn't want to pick up, and we just kind of we didn't have a huge budget, and we just grabbed guys that just wanted to wrestle. And uh, it started with Nate Jackson, was the NJRTC, the Nate Jackson RTC. It was just me and Nate for a little bit. And then we grabbed Downey and CJ. And uh, now now we're, like, starting to get some other really good guys. Like, Graf, Tyler Graf was, you know, he was fourth at the Open and was close a couple times. And then within, like, four months, he beat four dudes he had never beat before and made a world team and got fifth in the world. And wow. Downey was on the world team. He had never been better than fifth at the Open, won the Open, undefeated the whole year in America. And, uh, I mean – it's like for me i i focus on the basics i focus on position i focus on the mental and then uh i focus on small details like downy is so different than graph so yeah. then we start working on shots for finishing against chest lock for 
for graph or going upper body for downy and then for cj we're trying to finish high crotch like it's just like details specifically i only got like seven guys so it's pretty easy to give a lot of guys each time give everybody a lot of time but uh yeah focus on the basics focus on positioning hand fighting moving forward controlling the edge of the mat take down the turn these things that are pretty basic that a lot of americans don't do very well and we do freestyle all year and it paid off man i'm trying to run it back next year yeah, Nate Jackson might be one of the fastest wrestlers yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Wait till you see Nate. Nate's going to turn up. Yeah. He's been real close. People forget he was beating Zahid with one, two seconds left at the U.S. Open. Wow. And Zahid won and then did a lot of really good things. So Nate is very, very close. Yeah. I'm excited to see what he can do soon. So uh, was there a big transition that you made going from NG, uh, going from NCAA wrestling to Olympics as far as like the out of balance rules? Can you push out and stuff like that? It's a very big difference. Yeah. And you need to spend time in there. You got to put you put your athletes or put yourself on the edge of the mat and actually drill it. Like people don't want to drill. It's annoying. It's boring. It's monotonous, but you have to put time in there and you have to talk about technique after practice. When you're tired, I, I watch these guys go live and we do a lot of wrestling live, but afterwards we pretty much always work on at least one position. Like where'd you get beat? What'd you do? Well, how can you do that better? And like, where, what do you need to fix? And then we talk about it and then, then they have something to work on in the beginning of tomorrow's practice. And so it, it ends up working out really well. And uh, one of the main things that I do is try and get them to understand why. Why do you do this? Why should you do this? Because things on a senior level, it's so hard to change your habits because it's been working for so long. But if you understand why it could be better, you got a much better chance to really go in and put the six weeks in that it really takes to change something. Wow. Now, uh, so that, CJ, that was just a, a knowledge bomb I dropped on. That was that was good. That was oh, fire. Yeah. That was fire right there. Yeah. Yeah. You write that shit down earlier. Yeah, I write it down. <laughs> yeah. I post it on my mirror. <laughs> yeah. Anytime, like uh, any, like even when Reese was showing me some stuff last week, I, I got a notebook. I'm taking notes everywhere. Like John, I have stuff I learned there. I, I got every every uh, every match before I wrestle, write something down after practice. Wow. I learned something. I'm writing. I have a whole journal and like. Now I go back and look, and I can I write how I feel right before I wrestle, just to, just so I can see how I was feeling. Just go back, so think that I always keep a like think, the, like the things that you're thinking to yeah, put you like, in that same mindset. Before. Yeah, well, yeah, that or just to know how I was feeling before this match. Like have this whole season, every every match, every night before, right before I wrote like I just wrote how I'm like let's get pumped up, like let's fuck this. Like I'll write that down. Like the night before. Yeah, and I'll write that down. I'd be like when Aaron Brooks came out of red shirt, like we're roommates, and I was like me and AB about to turn up tomorrow. And then oh, wow. go back and I just have all that every match. Every time I learn something, I'm just I go back and learn it so I don't forget it because we learn all this stuff and then sometimes I forget to use it. But yeah, I take notes. All yeah, the time. dude, I was talking to I forget who I was telling, but I was talking about you and everybody brings up how athletic he is and, and this and that. But the thing that impressed me is how well he listens. Oh yeah. When I'm I was learning. ready to tell him something, so many people during practice they're tired or they're just like they're so good at wrestling. They're like, all right, man, I got it. Look. Now nah, Roman, he's looking me dead in the eye. Look, he probably said Reese is the coolest dude. No, I have John Hunter. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> See, I'm keeping yeah. notes, bro. I keep notes on everything. People don't understand. I got so notes about huge, everything. Man. Maybe it's from <laughs> not having great coaches in Arizona, but and now that you're being around all these guys who have yeah. had a lot of success, yeah. he's really paying attention. Taking notes, like the little things like that, people don't do. Yeah. And that's why he's going to be great, man. I'm a fan. Yeah, oh, I'm not dude, not I'm that like, big of a fan though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how's the scrap between y'all in practice? How's yeah. that go? No, it's good, man. He's all over the place. He's a little guy. He's uh, <laughs> oh, shit. he's puts it on me. He puts it on you, damn. No, bro. no, he's impressive, man. He tries to put his hands behind his back, and so I got to teach him a lesson <laughs> yeah. every once in a while. But no, so man, bad. he is yeah, a, yeah, an yeah. ultimate savage. But yeah, I'm so I'm stuck in the middle, so I'm a little tiny. Yeah, I can't tell you how many people ask me like. Uh, uh, why you put your hands behind your back when you're wrestling? I was like, I was like, he didn't do that for the show. It's like he always does that. Yeah, like, no, listen, yeah. does this in practice. So like people, people think like, oh, why is why is he doing that? If you actually do it in a match, like bro, it's weird, right? It's just yeah. like yeah. I can't get it. What am I, I, what am I gonna how do? How do you like, get behind? How do you get underneath? How, you, yeah. Yeah. how are they gonna pull me down? They can pull my neck, but that's fine. If they pull yeah. me too much, I'm shooting. Or like they take a bad shot, my reattack. So no, just stuff like that. Like. Just, they just mess around with shit like that. Yeah, and and so messing off. around in real competition is yeah. like, it's crazy. Yeah. People thought he was showboating. I, so I was like, that's not what he was doing. No, I he was working on something. Yeah, I literally hit it. Like, we would have a drill, and it would be like, all right, you put your hand, uh, put your hand behind your back. You only can only collar tie with one hand, another hand behind your back. Yeah. Just, hey, this, what is this one? Like what is this one you're doing to me? 
Oh, I can't. That's that <laughs> Kale Sanderson special right there. <laughs> Zane, Zane Rutherford. I saw, I, saw, I saw Zane do it. He was doing yeah. the yeah. tapping yeah. him on the chin. Get him and to react. You just, Roman was doing like this to me. Like, you just put, you're just messing with the guy. You put your hands in front of their face, and people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you guys are assholes. That's what the real problem is. Wow. <laughs> like, just straight clowning me yeah. in practice. I'm like, what? Oh, on his man. fingers or something? <laughs> <laughs> Smell my fingers. Smell my fingers. I need to start doing that in matches. I haven't really done that one yet. <laughs> no, but for real, right, so, so the, loose, the loose style that you bring, right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm seeing we're at the end of a, a practice. Elite's room is real hot. Um, we're, we're scrapping. You're going with everybody in the room. Um, and you and Reese are going at the end, and you're still hitting the old Muhammad Ali light feet. You know what I'm saying? Like the quick, you know, this like is two the, hours in, I'm pretty this much going live right, the whole time. Right. Like I'm pretty dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm seeing this dude twinkle toes and still, like, you know, he's having fun with it. Is that something that you kind of blossomed into in college, or is that always a style you tried to bring? Yeah, to? honestly, I just, bought, I was, honestly, just my styles, I just literally got that like all in college, just being around those guys. In high school, I mean, I was decent, but I feel like I didn't really, I didn't really open up, and I really started opening up more in college. And I still like, I feel like I could, uh, I hold back a lot. Sometimes I get too nervous, and I really hold back. But I feel like, I don't know. One time, I, I was, they always tell me before I ran out, move your hands and feet, and no one could beat you. But I think if I just keep learning to get that, because if I can move my feet, I feel like I'm faster and better than a lot of guys. But it's just like me. It's just like in the moment of the matches, sometimes I hold back when I shouldn't, but mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure that part out, but I feel like if I move my feet, no one could catch me, right? How are right. they gonna get there? If I'm just jumping around, they can't get me, but once I stop moving, then that's when they start attacking me. But you think I, I kind of do the same thing uh, as far as jiu-jitsu match because I, in my mind, I'm like, I don't say like, you know, nobody can hold you. I say they can't hold you down. Like, because pretty much how how I would get beat is if I made a mistake, ended up on bottom, and they just fucking 300-pound guy would just hold hold me down. You know what I mean? So in my mind, I'm like, if I just keep fucking yeah. moving, just keep but moving. If I'm jumping I'm around, if I could... If I'm j figure out a way to jump around and not get tired, I'm. I think I'm. I can just yeah. jump. I can just. They're not. The gonna thing make is, when you're there. jumping, you're like you're not like fucking flexing your body. You're loose. You're, yeah, you're very yeah, yeah. relaxed, and that's hard to do because a lot of guys are tense the whole time. Yeah, that's how I know Nate's kind of settling into a rhythm when I'm wrestling him. He does the same thing, like more so with his hands though. You'll oh, see yeah, him mess, yeah. You'll see him mess with. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. you know, like really, really just getting his hands working. You can you can tell he's like, all right, I'm settling into this. You know what I mean? And when Nate, when you can kind of tell he's. He's in a different mindset or a different approach. He's more hands-on, trying to move a guy a little bit more. Like, uh, would you say you're 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 kind of settling in the match when you're moving your feet and staying yeah, moving? I'm that's like, when you know you're feeling yourself. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. Like I mean? sometimes, and like a lot of my matches this year, I'll go back and watch them sometimes, and I was moving my feet more at the end of the match more than I'm moving in the beginning of the match because. When I wrestle, when I first get out there, it's kind of I kind of like, all right, what does this kind of give me? I'm worried about what he's gonna do. So I just focus on, you know, I didn't move my feet. But I, I think, say this to myself. All I think the I think that's just time. that's just the mentality thing. And then with the crowd too, that throws in there. It's like, why don't I just? I'm like, wow, that was so easy. I could take him down in the third period like three times. Like wow, BJC yeah. match, I wrestled uh, Decatur. I took him down three times in like less than a minute. At the beginning of the match, I didn't do shit. Like well, it's just, I think it's just mental. Honestly, it's it crazy is, it's, how much it's, it's hard. It is. You don't want to yeah. make a mistake in the beginning, and yeah. you got to feel them out a little bit. But it's like I just to get that mental aspect. I talk about like being annoying. Always do something to mess with the other guy because as soon as you stop, you start looking at the clock. It gets stressful. Mm -hmm. You get a little nervous, and then you get tired. But if you're constantly doing something with your hands, keeping your mind busy, it's almost like doing a puzzle. You stay busy, you stay active, and then you don't really get tired. You don't think about it too much. And uh, I, mean, I mean, that's what we've been focusing on a lot, keeping that balance and keeping pressure on your opponent with something, whatever your style is. Just, just keeping low anxiety during the match, huh? Yeah. It has to do a lot with uh, not being afraid to, like, make mistakes during practice either. Like, get, a lot of yeah. people don't shoot during practice. Just, you just got to pull the trigger, right? Yeah, like, send take, it. take shots. It doesn't matter during practice. You, you know? try to win or lose it. Right? Yeah, you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Take 100 shots. Or, you know, yeah. take Brandon, shots do you think time. that's kind of the same thing that happens at Henzo's, too? You guys aren't really afraid to, like... Like if you if you and Gary are rolling, like I don't think he's scared to get tapped at all, or vice versa. Nah, we we go for it. We'll we'll put ourselves like I'll put us if I know yeah. I'm better than somebody. Like I'll usually don't I'll let them get a rear naked choke or arm bar and work out of it, shit like that. Which which is you know you guys I'm sure you start in compromise position, let this guy get a double, and then I'm then I'll go, you know, shit like that. And I think that makes a big difference having having your getting yourself in bad position constantly and then enabling yourself to work out, especially during practice, can just have tremendous that just, benefits. That just goes with play wrestling. Put yourself in positions you're not used to. That's a biggest thing is you put yourself in a position you're not used to then then i think that's you just then you get in a match you're like all right or like and then i think uh what he was saying you can't be afraid to get taken down like you get taken down fuck it you gotta get back up like gotta get back up some yeah, people get taken yeah. down and that they never really changed the whole match but you just got they can't like mentally recover sometimes yeah. from from yeah. just yeah and finding that balance between too aggressive and mm. still putting the pressure on i think balance is key yeah
For sure. A lot of guys can, can just essentially blow their wad right away if they just fucking just want to let it loose. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that. That's where you'll find yourself in the in what do we call it the, the Homer Simpson loop. I was I was kind of in. I kept hitting my lefty high C. A guy would you know get, get in a crotch lock and you know I'd give up two, end up on top. So it's two one right. But I'm down and I'll keep I would just keep shooting. I got a little stubborn. You know what I mean? Over aggressive, wrestling myself out of matches. It's always kind of been something I can I need to get in my head about slowing things down, yeah. settling in, really take my time when I get in that position and, and and know how to do it right as opposed to just trying to work through it. Yeah. Getting there again, it'll it'll work out. No, you gotta you gotta change your approach a little bit. You know. Yeah, I was in uh, so I was in Flow Nationals like maybe like 2014, and uh, well, I wrestled at a club named uh, Seagulls, and Miles Martin was in high school at the same time as me, so we're, we're at the same club, and uh, we float we drive down the, to Nationals, do the tournament, and Miles is in the finals, and he's up by like he's up by like three points on on the top of the guy, right, and. With like 20 seconds left, the guy, they blow the whistle, guy stands up, cuts a corner, and like now it's, uh, uh, since they stood up, it's like, you know, Miles is up by one. Guy, Miles takes a shot, it gets splayed right at the end. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Bro, it's like, bro, you're a winning nationals. And like up until this point, like he's took in like second in everything. Up in, and I was like, and I was like, this is going to be the time where he fucking wins it. And just like fucking 20, things happen so fast in wrestling that they don't, they don't happen in any other sport. Yeah, we're, Miles is actually coming out. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Next week. Next oh, Monday. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, I was out there talking to what's his name, Joe Puller. Uh, Pollard. Yeah, Pollard, and then yeah. I think Grapp. I'm trying to get uh -huh. some work in with Grapp. Yeah, Grapp will be out. Um, Nate Tomasello is probably going to be out soon. Dean, uh, Dean Hyle is coming. See, out I like tomorrow. see like I like going out there. I don't have an ego. If they beat my ass, I love that stuff. Yeah. And like like uh, Penn State, I get my ass kicked all the time. As yeah. crazy as it sounds, I get. Yeah, you always want to be a. You always want to be uh you know, you try to strive to be the best one in the room, but you got to find a room where you're, you're one of the worst. You know, you want, you want to as long be, as you know yeah. that that's, that's helping you, that, that's helping yeah. you get to where you want to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're wrestling guys, you can beat the shit out of it left and right. You know what I mean? How, how much better are you really getting? Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? That was something I learned because, because I, I didn't start wrestling until late. I was, I was in high school and I started wrestling and I was getting my ass beat left and right in the room. Only reason I got to this point is because I was wrestling guys that good from yeah. the start. What, you know uh, what, what mean? was your high school? Carl Sandberg. Okay. Yeah. And you're a, you went straight to the NGR or uh, TCNJ, right? No, I went to Central Michigan. Oh, okay, okay. So I was, yeah, I was freshman, started, just kind of did it to, to stay in shape for football, got all the way to my senior year. I, I, I started my junior year, didn't make it to state. All I wanted to do was qualify for state, ended up winning it my senior year. Okay. Wrestled the guy that was getting recruited for, from Central. They started recruiting both of us. We went there, and, and the rest is kind of history. And then from right, right, right out of college, I went into NGRTC. Oh, wow. Also coaching at TCNJ, doing the Masters and everything. But, yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah. But And you finished, you finished your degree? Finishing in, in December, graduating yeah. in December, yeah. That's what's up. Thanks, Thanks for yeah. it out. Oh, yeah. You, you going to finish too? You going to get a degree? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, I mean, other than, that's the main goal, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I got two more years. Depends what I do. So, but I literally went to college. I was like, I'm just here to wrestle. I didn't show up to class <laughs> really? or nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a degree doesn't hold hold the same amount of weight though nowadays. It's you get an NCAA enough, title that's worth way more than a yeah. fucking yeah. degree. Yeah, I majored in wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. A little different than these Princeton dudes. <laughs> these Princeton guys are yeah, weight cutting. That was like my minor. <laughs> <laughs> minor. You cut a lot of weight. Crazy amount of weight. My whole career. You regret it a lot. Regret it, right? But, you feel yeah. like shit. But it, but it worked out. You know, yeah. like yeah. You, you can always look back and in hindsight, it's twenty twenty, but. Do you think you would have competed better if you were a little bit heavier? I think maybe? I would have been a lot better. I don't know if I would have had the same credentials because I just knew I could make the team at 60 kilos. Yeah. But I wish I would have went. See, I kind of got stuck at Ohio State. I was 33 my first year. I was like, never again. I redshirted my, my second year, and then I came back, and we had the national champ at 141. And oh, he wow. couldn't move up because he had Lance Palmer at 49. Jaggers had Palmer, so it was like I was there. If I want to make the team, it would be pointless even if I could have beat Jaggers. Like, it would ruin the team. Yeah. So then I just was stuck there for a couple of years, and I went up my last year, and then and then I just knew I could make the team, the world team, so I went down. Night before weigh-ins, everything was kind of making it out, and I didn't think I could make the team at the weight up, so I just kind of stayed there. And then, But I, I just know I spent so much time learning how to make weight yeah. when I could have been <laughs> getting better at wrestling. What's, it, what's, your, what's your meal like uh, day before we're weigh-ins? Day before when you're cutting hard as fuck, you're trying yeah, to make 33. I, 30, when I was making 32, there was a good two weeks where it was protein, just like powder, uh, powder. or powder. Yeah, that's it. Uh, at least a week. Wow. Damn, no food, no food, liquid diet. Liquid so, diet. What's your weight looking like now? 
I'm like 56, maybe yeah. 156. And I was like probably maybe 57, 58 when I was really training wow. into 132. When I mean like two a days, 157. Damn, and then bro. Like lean. Damn, wow. that's crazy. Yeah, after every uh, after every one of my wings, I eat a six inch from Jimmy John's. No <laughs> fucking way. Six inch from Jimmy John's. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, Cause bro. like, I don't know. I just, I just eat Jimmy John's and I got my electrolytes water and I'm ready. Is to it like myself. a comfort food? Yeah, it's just comfort food. Cause comfort like. Food. I don't know. I don't like people who do the granola bars and all this little shit. And like, I need a meal. I need to feel a little bloated before I go yeah. there. So every time I get the same, Coach Cody gets me the same Jimmy John's. If it's morning way and I get a star, uh, Starbucks sandwich and I'm good to go. Yeah, I think a big part of it is eating what you've used, what you're yeah. used to yeah. eating. Same yeah. every way. Everybody tries to the get same super stuff. healthy for the weigh-in, but you don't eat that. Your body kind of rejects it. If you yeah. eat a six inch all the time, go for it. Yep. I agree. In uh, in college, they gave us uh, uh, fucking McDonald's can- pancakes. Was, we was broke. But, but did the same thing. Made me feel comfortable. Yeah, feel good. McDonald's pancakes. That was like what your coaches got? Be- be- after weigh-ins, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would buy for y'all at their weigh-ins? Yeah, mo- I get... Yeah, I get like two like two packs myself, like six pancakes. <laughs> uh, naturally, yeah, naturally. naturally, yeah. But uh, they hook us up with that. You, what's your what's your favorite meal? Like, at right oh man, I would do. All right, so I would hop off. You know, I I, I like the uh, coconut water, but mm. the chocolate. You can only Oof. find them like certain places. It's like fire. it's like it's tastes like chocolate milk. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And then I would do a bagel, cream cheese, ham over that, mm. uh, a little bit of yogurt, um, and then. I would want to do an avocado, but wouldn't always have that shit. But like, yeah. you know, I'm a big avocado. Look how specific it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's it's too much. <laughs> when it's I, so uh, crazy. Like, yeah, I thought about that shit all week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I uh, first oh, got man. out to, uh, when I first got out to uh, Penn State, right? I was my first time wrestling, first time traveling. They give us your little money you get from you on the trips. And every trip we go to, we go to. Uh, what is it? Every trip we go to Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. mm. I've never been to Whole Foods since I got up there, and it's mad healthy. I'm like, yo, why are we going here every time? Like they're telling me get a salad. Are they all drink green juices? They're like, get a, I'm like, I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm doing. Like, I don't want to do this shit. Like, that's not what I like. But now I'll do it. But I'm just like, yo, I'm not trying to be at Whole Foods right now, spending six fifty bucks for three things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. expensive. Roman's authentic. Dude, yeah. No one's gonna change Roman. <laughs> yeah. Roman's like Skittles and chocolate milk. I'm yeah, right. the same thing. Yeah, that's all this money. I'm like, I'm trying to save it. I'm trying like, to get my save. parents a gift for Christmas or something. <laughs> 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 they, uh, spend, yeah, I spend a hundred dollars on five yeah. things. I'm pissed yeah. after. We go to NCAs, right? They're giving you all this money for the week to hold you over. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to stash this yeah. for later. Like, I'm <laughs> trying to. My family's coming. I'm gonna have my mom buy me everything. I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'm trying to. That's yeah. supposed to be per diem. Yeah. Roman gives it per month. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to save it. Yeah, I'm trying to pocket it. Stack that shit up, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's great. I got a good now because I mean, so when I travel, I. Try to do like a, the night before. I try to have like a like a big steak and maybe some carbs, like fucking vegetables, potatoes. Because I'm not cutting any weight. I just want to feel good. But I guess honestly, day of competition, I will usually do like a little bit of meat, like a steak for breakfast, and then fruit pretty much all day until I compete. I just feel like amped up, sugared up. I usually compete at nighttime, so if I'm doing like high sugars all day, I'm fucking all veiny and shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you look good, too. exactly. <laughs> People are like, why you why why you always so like shredded and you're you don't have a weight class? I'm like I'm like, bro, you have to look good for the camera. Like, That's the only reason. <laughs> they're trying to go viral tonight, trying to be bro. A walking billboard, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks way better if you're fucking shirtless and shredded. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's that's some crazy thing about jiu It's like. The absolute division. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I find that crazy. It's literally yeah. like there's you no be, way you could go against yeah, me. I could go against yeah, you, yeah. like, and you could win. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we had we had this kid, Lachlan Giles. He's yeah, oh, I think bro, that guy's a fucking. I monster, think he's like 145, bro. maybe 150 yeah. pounds. Uh, every match in his in his uh, in his absolute tournament at ADCC was uh, one guy was Ali, he was 260. Uh, another guy was Conor Duarte, he was 220, and another kid was like uh, another 220, and he fucking leg locked all of them, broke that's all. Crazy. Actually, didn't even leg lock. He, he broke all of their legs. Yeah, How that's so. Huh? How did he take them down? He did it while they were standing. Sat on his butt and broke their feet. Yeah. Bro, yeah. So he just pulled guard. They, would, yeah. they came in, bro. He'll hook them. He as soon as, it, as, soon as they stepped it. in, he just like used their momentum and pushed them forward. He got yeah. behind them. See, that's the scary shit legs. to me. That's leg locks. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. That shit's no, terrifying. Don't, don't no. play with my legs. If I come <laughs> no. in there, don't touch my no. legs. <laughs> I'll leave. No. I'll Yo, leave. but it's blue it, room. See ya. Bro, it's interesting, man. I fucking like now that I know more about it, I'm like, I could I could have totally used this shit just to just control people positionally in, in wrestling. A L- little bit of leg lock uh, knowledge will fucking go a long way, man. I got a little. 
I got little tricks that John's been showing. I want to hit in some matches. And yeah. Like, what the f- is that? Yeah. You're like heel hook I'm someone bro, in a match. Yeah. What? You're gonna like heel hook someone, bro? I'm gonna get match? into the position. We yeah, mess yeah, around yeah, with yeah, it, yeah. but I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crank yeah. on it, but I'm no. But you see how you can control yeah, yeah. somebody oh, yeah. with that. Like, bro, it's it's that, that stuff. If you know how to use that stuff, that stuff's bro. That stuff's nutty. That's like like Gordon. You roll with Gordon. He's not fucking. He's not an athlete. Like it yeah. doesn't move like a wrestler. You know, he's very stiff and, and he, like he's awkward, but he can. He Fuck gets. It, he does pretty arm. well. Yeah, he can break your shit. And he does pretty well, like in staying position. As far as like, he's hard to like get take down with boots in. You know, like you might sit him down to the mat, but he's probably gonna pop up and fucking keep moving. You guys are like so. Uh, you guys are like it's crazy. Like I was going with Frank Rosenthal. Uh-huh. Yeah, and Honestly, I bro. I just couldn't pass his guard. Yeah, like to save my life, it was probably I tried to pass his guard maybe like twenty times. And it's like he's not even strong. Like he's not that strong. Like he's pretty. He's strong, but he's not like. Crazy strong yeah. or anything, he's just like so good in every position. Like Keeps it he's tight. so technical, yeah. and it was it, I just could, I was getting frustrated. I'm not really frustrated because like it was like my second day there, but I mean when I go to like the gym in Yonkers, I'm, I can pass every like everyone's guard, yeah. and then I go with Frank, and I couldn't I couldn't pass his guard. For it's 10 levels, minutes. bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy. What's your, what's your strategy like? All right, so is there like scouting in in, in jujitsu? Is there like if I'm going against this guy? I want to beat him with points. I just want to take his bag, score a bunch of points, or I was, or this guy. I know I got to tap him out. Like so, I, so yeah, I get so pretty much for every competition. There's a different rule set. Um, so like depends on the rule set. If it's like sub only, then you have to go game plan like, like that. So like you have to. Sometimes there's sub only, no time limit. So like it can be as long, an hour match, and fucking you just like can't explode for an hour straight. You have to you know keep that keep that slow steady pace and go for submissions. So like depends on the rule set. Like for me, if I'm going ADCC, uh, we have a good thing too where we could just look up our opponents on flow grappling. Almost everybody shit is on there, so we could study it in the sense of that. And then as far as game planning goes, like for me, because I'm not super technical like at grappling right now, I'll just do like uh, I'll say, okay, if this guy's gonna stand with me, obviously I'll be him wrestling. So let me. Get him a little tired, tired with, yeah. with hand fighting, and then eventually I'll take him down, take his back, and go to work. And I'll say, okay, if this guy's gonna sit guard, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to either uh, how to either pass his guard or or get him reacting so he comes up on a shot from bottom, and then mm-hmm. I, you know I start I start my game from there and start scrambling. Because usually if I can get these guys to move, I can get them in a high pace scram- scramble. I'm gonna get them tired, and I'm gonna end up in uh, winning that scramble like every time. So our guys, our guys scouting against you, they're they're more so gonna pull guard. Yeah, move, move move that way against you for for sure. I think before ADCC, people like knew that I could wrestle, but they didn't think like I was better than like because there's a lot of judo guys that do jujitsu, not wrestlers. Mm-hmm. A, lot, a lot of judo guys, so like there'll be a black belt in judo that having really good jujitsu success. Um, using the judo skills and taking out everybody, you know. But then if you're standing with a wrestler, it's a fucking different game. I'm gonna touch your legs. I don't want if you, I know you're gonna throw me. I'm not gonna fucking let you throw me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah, they definitely game plan. And like, I'll, it's funny because I'll see it like on social media. Like I'll go through, through my story pre competition, and they'll be like, all like these competitors. I'm probably gonna compete soon. Like the same guys that are gonna be in my tournament. They're like looking through my profile and shit. So it's it's interesting interesting to see because I know I know when they're watching. You know, <laughs> <laughs> got eyes on you. Yeah. You ever think about fighting? Uh, I mean, honestly, I I think about every day. I'm like, because I feel like I could make massive amounts of money, and I feel like I just wouldn't get hurt. I think I'd be really good. Uh, But then I think about getting punched. I'm like, bro, that sucks. That looks fucking terrible. I probably would. I probably would. But I I like I like the grind. I like I'm always been a fan of fighting. But like I don't know. I look at somebody like. Like Francis Ngannou, like that Jesus, motherfucker. Yeah, right. Punch <laughs> my face. Levels, man. Oh, you don't that's my weight class, you yeah, know. Like, you don't just jump straight to him, though. You... I probably would though, because I have a name. You <laughs> wow. know what I mean? If I like, All like right, I would man. have to sign with somebody a little bit. No, not the UFC, because every fight in there is that you're a dog. You know, um, I'd, maybe I start at, at, like a Bellator or one championship or something like that. But uh, work my way up. But I feel like I feel like because I'm, I have kind of a name, like every fight would be probably somebody good decently good for yeah. sure they have to be because i mean the second i get them to the ground no matter who it is in the world it's right. fucking they're going out yeah. Oh, yeah so they'd have to catch me on the on the coming you yeah know? yeah you can't just get a little fat little pudge no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quick. yeah yeah for sure that that would be my game plan i'd fuck i could be that motherfucker whoever it yeah. is run forward as soon as i get my, right. my body lock it's gonna be lights out you it's know? game over you bro know? i'm taking my time make him fucking wish he wasn't there I love that. Yeah, That's I've good. actually, I've actually never even thrown a punch like standing up. As far as like being in like a real fight, everything's been like take to the ground, elbow or punch, and fucking lights out. Yeah, was last time you been in a street fight? Um, no, comment. no comment. 
<laughs> that dude ain't around no more. No, man, that's a long time, really. Yeah, long yeah. time. We don't need to. I'm I'm past that stage in my life. I feel like he's a coach now. Yeah, yeah. world class coach. Yeah. Just, ah, shit happens when you're younger. Don't step up. Don't step <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, me and Roman almost had to uh, be some. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I Down the Jersey Shore. Is that no, what no. At, in, at Penn State, actually, it was oh. some drunk dude. He was like trying to steal stuff from the store, and then like he was just came like, outside. I just got a new outside. car. You know, they can't money treat me good. I got a new car. This man <laughs> they can't money treat me good. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man. Oh, he was drunk. He got caught stealing. He, but he came outside. Drugs. He kicked my window. I was oh, like, yo. No but then at the same time, I'm like, we're at Penn State. I can't, I can't retaliate. I'm probably not gonna do nothing. But I know he. He's a New Yorker. He gets a little crazy. We were just, we were just waiting for. I was just <laughs> waiting for him to touch one of us. I, I was just waiting, but kind of egging him on because he was just like being an asshole. But uh, if, he, if somebody, the, if somebody window, came, so it was like, if somebody came through and like poked my truck, I kick a hole in that motherfucker. Yeah, I, I can't right through like, the no, fucking chest. Just, <laughs> and he, he was like, he was like I was so years old, so he would have gotten. He uh, that made that he, how he old? Gotten, he was like fifty. That I'll show you guys. I just mean it would have been a bigger hole. No, I would have straight through that motherfucker. Straight through. <laughs> yeah, he he was definitely off some drugs. He's yeah, he just straight up kicked. Me. I was like, "Yo, do that again, bro. There's gonna be a problem." And he yeah. he was safe. Well, it's different yeah. nowadays too, man. Like you, you you fight with the wrong person, you got a lawsuit. You know what I mean? Oh, you fight yeah, with yeah. like yeah, it's a different world we live too, in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like unless you're on a college campus and it's like against other college dudes, and like we know that we're just trying to you know we're just yeah. fighting whatever we're drunk whatever. But like if you're you know talking about normal civilian and yeah. we're actual combat athletes, you know they they have Big a case time. against that. You know what I mean? And they will use it. Dude, I got I got sued. I got mm-hmm. sued. I was fucking bouncing one time in uh in college, and I was like, oh, not in college, at a college bar, and I was like 18 years old, uh, and I fucking this kid, I'm kicking out. I'm just like asking him to leave. He's all the way good till we get to the edge, right? I open the door. He takes a step out, and I'm like standing in the doorway, and for some reason, he just turns around. He's like. I guess he realized he was drunk. I guess he realized that he was getting kicked out once he got outside. He's like, I'm not fucking leaving. He puts his hand on the inside of the door, like pulled himself in and just heads me in the face. Damn. I was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to kill this kid. <laughs> so I just push him oh. away. Right. And I was going, I had every intention of getting on top of this motherfucker and killing him. So I push him away. And I, as soon as I push him away, I push him away. He's same size as me. Fucking falls and cracks his head on, on the oh, on the curb, fuck, right? No. Head so he goes from head me in the face to falling on the curb, and he has to get stitches and shit. And I was like, oh, I gotta be nice to this motherfucker now. So the, the cops come and they're just like, oh, what happened? I tell him, like, listen, he fucking head me in the face, and I had to push him just to get away from me and put him in them having a an issue there. But uh, it was all on camera, so it was good. But yeah, it was fucking thing. yeah. I mean, you they're trying to like, like knowing that like, like that's another that thing. Way. It's all on camera. Yeah, yep, it's yep. All, all on, on camera. camera now, like. You better not throw the first punch, man. You'll yeah. be arrested. Yeah, for Or real. you'll lose your scholarship. Okay. Yep. This shit is real. I said, yeah. I'm always yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah. stuff like that. I was like, nah. It's so easy to get in a fight, though. I mean, especially I mean, fucking New York. It's yeah, it's hard, hard not, not to. to. Yeah. Bro, it's yeah, hard shit. not to. We almost yeah. got a fight at Top Golf. Oh, my <laughs> God. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Yo, what? He kicks us out of the bay because of that. They're no. kicking me out of the bay. Yeah. It was me and CJ and four kids, my kids and their friends, mm-hmm. and my wife. There's normally eight allowed. This is the whole story, guys. There's normally eight allowed in the bay, but since quarantine, there's six. Yeah. My wife wasn't playing nothing. We got four half humans, and they were like, you got to go. And so my wife was like, we were trying to figure it out for a little bit, and the guy started to, like, flex on us. I'm like, hey, buddy. <laughs> You're not going to flex on me in front of my wife and my kids. So, I mean, it, it didn't turn out to be anything. There's... They're top golf employees. Yeah. They're decently yeah. soft, but they were heated. Oh, CJ was like, why is your heart rate so high? And we're calm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have loved the heart rate right around him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he was uh, definitely feeling it. Shit, I would, would like to see younger the security days. camera tape of that shit. Uh, Blast that motherfucker right through the top uh, golf net. I would have thrown him off. I would have yeah. hit a hole in his head <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> Yo, can you golf at all? Yeah, I'm good at everything, bro. Are you really? <laughs> I don't know if you know me, yeah. but I'm good at shit. A little bit, bro. After Highlight Humphrey. Highlight Humphrey, yeah. Fucking after practice, you just go. I could just go outside and see you randomly doing fucking backflips and TikToks. So. Whatever, you, whatever you want. <laughs> you cool, but seriously, if it's cool, I've put time into it. Yeah. You know, it's like people think it's all athletic, all a gift. But if you don't work on the shit, like you'll never be able to do some of the yeah. stuff that I've, I've done on well, there. What you got, Freak Athlete or something coming out? Freak athlete ebook Ooh. coming soon. Hey, nice. We're gonna be Jay on uh, no, this is just an ebook. I've got oh. some stuff going on with wrestling fanatics. Wrestling soon, fanatics, soon yeah. there'll be a cutting weight ebook coming out Ooh. soon too, which could be the real one. Make okay. some money. But uh, yeah, man, with all the tricks that I've done, 
in the past, I don't know, five to 10 years, we're going to break them down and put a six week program together to where you can lift those specific muscles. And then I'll do the tutorials on how to do a handstand standing, how to do a backflip, how to do all this other you got a free shit. code for me. What do you need? You got a free code? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course I got you, but <laughs> you can yeah. send that per DM right over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so you were actually practicing a backflip, like, and you got in, in a couple of tries, right? Dude, I'm telling, this was on my this was on my bucket list, right? Because uh-huh. it had always been such a mountain to climb for me doing a backflip. I don't know why it was the, the the fear, like, not even just having any technique about it. I and I'd fallen on my neck a couple of times, so yeah, it is definitely mental. But um, yeah, every time I've attempted it, landed on my neck, done something. Tweak me here. You've actually, you've actually got like hurt try- attempting the backflips. Oh yeah, Inf- yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> are you, I know yeah, you do it like on, on the mats. Are, do? are you in the mats or foam pit or something? Like on the beach. Oh my yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah. wasted. <laughs> <laughs> trying to backflip for my friends. You know, I got my buddy Corey doing crazy flips. I'm like, I can do that. Yeah, no, yeah. you can't, dog. Yeah. But uh, we go three tries with, with Reese, and I got it down. You know, what I mean, the little wow. spot, a couple technique tips here and there. Bryce too. You know, everybody yeah. chiming in. Boom. Backflipping three tries, I was like, "This is wow. crazy, bro." That's we nice. got, and then Nate was doing it too. We got everybody flipping. Downey started doing round off back. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it rubs off on you, I guess. Yeah, Nate. Nate's a, an athlete, man. That fuck, he fucking stresses me out because I can't. Like usually, I can, I can, I can kind of predict when he's gonna when he's gonna shoot or something. So good hand fighting, hand placement, and fucking well, you, so you, fast, you, man. You balled with us, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I play a little bit. Motherfucker can ball yeah, too. Yeah. Like we got a whole gang <laughs> of ballers, <laughs> like, especially with, with Downey. Man, I take us three. You know. Yeah. Push against any other three, I tell you what. Let's three, do three, let's go. Three turn. You see how he just excluded me? I'm in the game. I mean, no. <laughs> oh, but like, it's two on two. Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay. <laughs> on, right, four on four. Four on four. Four on four. Oh man. No, Reese is Reese. Yeah, really no, like I'm body. I'll body, body these big boys up. I can hold yeah. the paint down. <laughs> but no, I'm, that's one of the things I'm not great at. Not compared well, to these. Like the hedgehog around. Yeah, there. he literally is the hustle king. Damn. Yeah. Bro, what's your what's your best warm up game? I know you guys got to do a couple of weird things in, in practice, but what's play your play dodgeball every day? Dodgeball? Yeah, shit's yeah. like it's like dodgeball, but we play a different way. It's like partner dodgeball. Like you know, in that wrestling room, like you think practice is serious? That fucking dodge that, that shit is fu- <laughs> that shit. That shit, bro. That shit like I almost got in a fight with Bill Nickel because of it. Like, oh, yo, Lord. like there's been there's people that take that shit so serious. Like that. Coach Varner, yeah, Coach Varner's head hunting, throwing headshot like that shit's no joke. That's we play a hundred mile like, ball right there. That's a big like, fucking arm throwing the ball. Uh, we play with volleyballs too. Oh, so wow. okay, that's gonna hurt. It, it's no joke though. Like <laughs> that's every day, and like <laughs> that shit's serious. And it gets everyone all wild up before, so they're like they're yeah. all high, and now they're ready to practice. I think that's yeah. good. Like everyone wants to be there after the dodgeball, but but yeah, that yeah. shit. Penn State secret. They they play ball, a fucking dodgeball with medicine. It's balls. war. It's Five war. Five pound medicine balls <laughs> launching them. Yeah. There's a, couple, there's a couple times they're playing for like an hour and a half, and then there's like a thirty minute practice. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. Fifteen game series. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that's amazing. But like my, I just I kind of it gets so serious. People go so crazy at the beginning. I kind of just stay off in a little corner, chill out. I don't act like I'm not playing, and then at the end I'll pop right in. But like uh, they but. get mad at me. But I mean that's just I just I just play. I just, I'm a little sneaky dude. Yeah, I just chill out. Out. Everyone's going crazy. They're arguing, and then I'm. St- they're like, "Yo, you're still alive." And I'm yep, you're saving, chilling. still alive. That's all I do. Sneaky. Stay Sneaky. off in the corner. <laughs> when, we, when we, in those mind games. When we're doing dive ball, I mean, I'm 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 pretty high key, is it? You know yeah. I mean? And then I, I, I grab the ball. <laughs> yeah. Sporting, trying to throw these dudes in there. Yeah, I'll get I'll, I'll get out in the first 15 seconds every time. I'll yeah, be like that was fun. Let's run it back. Come on. <laughs> I'm a kind of guy. I, the first time I throw a ball, guaranteed blow a shoulder out. I'm yeah. fucking sitting out. Yeah, I'm fucking. Oh, I damn near. Yeah, yeah. I mean, getting, it's so worth it though. Like in the moment, <laughs> in the moment, I'm trying to, I'm trying to <laughs> headshot <laughs> somebody. Oh man. Yeah, but Nick, you're a big target, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm big, but I'm, I'm small. Like, uh, I'm fast. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm small. Like a, I'm big, but I'm small. <laughs> I'm big, but I'm small. Move like a small guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really just the whole competitive nature, though. Yeah. Like, why these dudes are so good is they're. They don't want to lose at anything. Yeah, anything. We'll be playing darts, and these guys are as focused as you can be for four four hours or whatever. Oh, man. It's like, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. You get competitive people against each other, the stakes are going to get high. Facts. You should see Facts. the whiteboard in our place. So me and Downey had a running tally. Okay, we have like... How, yeah. I got to ask you this, bro. How was it living with Downey? It's fantastic. 
Fantastic, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's, we, we, games all the time. Games. You know, the conversation crazy. You Every know time I mean? when you got social media, something was going on. I was oh, like, yeah. "What are you doing?" Oh, yeah, we got and, and and you threw a Boris in the mix too. We got dudes yeah. flipping off the ceiling. Oh, you know what I mean? Boris, I even, you know, it was insane. You see him yeah. climbing the walls. All the shit that he's posting on Instagram is insane too. Fishing and wrestling every fucking day. Fishing, <laughs> wrestling, balling, everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's but fun. we we got these games. I think it's uh, we got darts, rummy, NFL street, and uh, bags. Okay, four different games, and like we're running up tallies that are like. 50 games, oh, 60 man. games, you know what I mean? <laughs> CJ, you can't have him over for a drink. He, no. As soon as he comes over, he's like, all right, what are we playing? What are we doing? <laughs> you <laughs> can't just show. <laughs> can't just show. <laughs> just like, I'm decently tired, man. Oh, nah, man. We got to play 12 games with Cornhole. <laughs> yeah. Everything's competition. Yo, I'm looking for the next one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> it's always about the games. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Damn. We're in there. It's Bro, so Jersey Shore's been fun. How long are you around for? Here? Yeah. Um, I got a car now, so I'm whatever I want to do, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I a know. long time. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been awesome having him around. Yeah, I mean, cool, man. there's stuff. There's nothing going on at there's nothing going on at Penn State. I mean, it's just not this year's just not. There's Are nothing you to look forward to. In Tom's River? No, no, no. So I stay with him a lot, okay. and then one of my uh, one of my pals from. Nah. Arizona just moved oh, out here. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got friends everywhere. I she see. just moved out here. She's going to college out here, so I can stay out here, please, if I need to. It's only what? One of my pals. It's like, yeah. what is it, 40, 45 never, minutes? He's never said pal in yeah. his life. <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes from uh, Enzo, so I'm going to go up there a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Pretty, it's pretty hey, close, nice, bro. You know? mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Dude, I, I used to drive so fucking far up here. It's it's so nice being close to the city. And I'm not I'm not really used to the city life because it's busy. Like, so many. It, like, every time I look somewhere, there's somebody looking at me. I'm like, I fucking too many people around here. I like I like South Jersey. I like, you know, having my space and shit. But uh, definitely a little bit of a transition. And I got no uh, no in-person classes, so I'm chilling. Yeah. Just all, all online. online. Yeah, I can. You can be here the whole year. Yeah, I can, I can pretty much do whatever I want. And I made that flexibility knowing that with all this shit going on. Yeah, so got Two open rooms. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it's fun really. cross training too, like doing jiu jitsu, box. We even spars like sometimes in, in like uh, the gym and yakers. We were literally oh, yeah? sparring yeah. the other day. It was pretty funny because like those a crap on just mess around and uh train with Shane Burgos. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, We've yeah, been out there. I was he for his last fight. Who did he fight? He fought um Josh. Is it Josh Emmett? I think that's yeah. Josh. I was out. There, I was just sure. wrestling him, and he was just doing all this He's shit. We just go out there having yeah. fun. Yeah, I was with one Archuleta out there too. So there's I'll rest some, being around those guys. They all work, they all work hard was too. Dillashaw yeah. out there with them. Yeah, I was yeah. doing jujitsu with them and wrestling them. How'd you do rolling with Dillashaw? I actually ducked him on his face. He'll never, he'll, <laughs> yeah. he'll, never, he'll, never, he'll never forget that. No, but he tapped me out. He's yeah. he's big now, but they all it's cool because they all work hard. Hard, so like we all yeah. just get yeah, along. I like those dudes. They're a good guy. Yeah, that's the only kind of people you want around you. Positive, exactly. motivated motherfuckers. Like if you're lazy, you're probably not gonna be friends. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like him and No Love have a crazy beef, and yeah. No Love comes in our room, and That's he's true. cool too. I just walked into practice one day, and Cody said that was like, "This is random. What's up, dog? What's happening?" <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Let's do it. Yeah. So the first time I wrestled Cody. He, I said we were going to spar. So that's a dr- that means like a high-paced drill in so wrestling. It's supposed to mean high-paced he, drill. He thought that meant we were going to fight. Yeah. And at least like oh, wrestling yeah. fight. He thought it was live, and he hit me so hard. And I, I like slammed him right away, and everyone's like looking like, what are you doing? Like, oh, you're just warming up. No, he did this. You started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, that's funny. Yeah, he, uh, wrestling wrestling practice can easily, easily go from 20% to 100. It happens yeah, quick. It happens quick. Oh, it happens yeah. quick. Like wait, wait, wait till you go overseas. You go overseas and they say spar and they'll be like technique, technique, and then yeah. next thing you know they're biting you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get bit in a wrestling match? Yeah, they'll they do crazy stuff in real matches. They won't do that in practice, but they'll yeah. they'll pinch you, they'll pull your hair, they'll oh, bite wow. you, they'll choke you. That's crazy. Just make That's you uncomfortable. One dude bit the guy's like ear off in the Olympic semifinals. Wow. Bit him, turned him in the last like two seconds, and then they let it fly. The guy wow. was in the Olympic finals. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Real, real. If stuff, Cody man. makes 125, and he keeps all his power, he can win. He's gonna be massive. 125. Fuck that dude up. Yeah, we're gonna find out, dude. He's a beast, though. Yeah, he's got gonna be better fun. hands than pretty much anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bro, he gets in that pocket and he swings, bro. <laughs> that takes some balls, man, to just stand there close to knowing that you can get hit and just walk. Ooh, ooh, crazy. Toe to toe. Yeah, toe to fucking toe, man. 
different world, different person, different fucking mentality. Like I, I could sit there and scrap with you wrestling wise, but like at the risk of getting KO'd, like fuck, bro, that's a fucking <laughs> battle, man. You got yeah, you can't think about that though. You can't, you can't. It's like right? thinking about getting subbed. You know? You're just like I gotta it, hit this and, motherfucker first, right? Yeah, and I've never fought, but it's got to be very similar once you get trained in it. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it's just part of the sport. You got to be in the pocket sometimes. I gotta yep. be able to hit you. You might be able to hit me. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm better than you though. Is that what you got to be thinking? <laughs> yeah. And Cody is. He's the real deal. He is. He is. Yeah. He's got hands. Dude can wrestle. What you know? What's his uh, wrestling background? He's an Ohio boy. Yeah. And he was on. So like a bunch of my friends were on those teams with him. It's like wow. training for Fargo and all that. But wow. so I, I think that was it though. Yeah. Yeah. High school. He was good in high school. It's good, man. Fucking. Well, mentality. Different mentality. For sure. For sure. You ever think about fighting? Uh, Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I used to. I started doing striking and started doing some jujitsu. My strength coach, the guy I'm doing the ebook with, was a boxer. So oh, we wow. would do that, just kind of cross train, hit the mitts all the time, hit the bag. Um, so, I mean, I was like starting to get decent at it. And then coaching came along. And I like, I think I quit my career wrestling because I wanted to take the guarantee of coaching. Wow. And then it turned out that, uh, I mean, I'm a pretty good coach, I think. It's working sure. out. <laughs> it's working out. <laughs> it's working out. So it's like I took the guarantee. My wife didn't want me to fight. My dad didn't want me to fight. Yeah. You know, it's like so many guys are getting paid eight and eight in the UFC, eight thousand to know. show. It's, it's like it's nothing. Like, it's and, nothing and, bro. and like there's not it hasn't been around that long to know the effects of it with yeah. the four ounce gloves. Yep. And uh so you know, I just took the the easy route. But dude, I'm yeah, one of those yeah. guys that really I truly like getting hit. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's motherfucker. I truly do. And I that's why I'm still I'm thirty four, but I wrestle every single day Hard with every my day. guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, just it's like you know, it's hard. It's easier to coach that way because if I tell somebody to do something, it's hard to to really want to do it. But if I show you or I hit it on you four or five times, it's like, man, I yeah. need to listen. So I'm in there every day, still scrapping. I love that. Uh, I mean, I'm sad I hung them up. Yeah. So I still want to compete beach wrestling. I wrestled in Cuba the other <laughs> last year, which was cool. Yeah, you know, I'm still trying to lace them up whenever I can. But coaching was just the the route for me. Yeah. But dude, I I still think about fighting, but I, it's not gonna happen though. I feel you. Definitely, definitely a different person to do that shit. You ever think about fighting? No. I mean, it's weird, though. I love, love training it. Mm -hmm. And, like, I love, I've been hitting mitts and stuff. I've been learning jiu-jitsu, all that crap. But I don't want to fight. But I love being around it and just watching it. And then uh, I like training. I don't mind getting hit in practice. But I just don't want to. Just want to go on the big show and get knocked yeah. out. Yeah. But, uh, I definitely have my hands in a little bit, but I don't, I don't yeah, plan it's, on it's it. It's more but. fun to watch it, too, when you know a little bit more about yeah, it, the exactly. ins and outs of like what these guys are actually doing. Because there is levels to this shit. Yeah. Sometimes it's in wrestling, it's like you don't know what's going on. It looks like nothing, but since we've wrestled, you can see the yeah. little details. Yeah. You train a little bit of fighting. You might facts. watch it a little bit different. That's facts, man. I think the next big step as far as like grappling-wise, uh, I think – if we were able to get on like a big show, big card, if we had like jujitsu or, re or wrestling match on like a uh, Bellator show or like a, a one championship event or even oh. in some smaller where like before the main before the main card or even before the prelims, just have a couple matches so the crowd sees sees it. Yeah. And I think some yeah, like some like one from similar. each discipline or something, yep. wrestling jits and maybe like a Muay Thai or yeah. something. Yep, because one one exactly one championship is in, they're doing different shit like that. Yep. Well, I think that's what it is. It's like you know. Most of society is not really exposed to wrestling, or if they are, they don't understand the art. They don't know what they're looking at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just looks like sometimes, like just two guys fucking rolling around. Yeah, and they don't understand like this guy's trying to get inside tie, get to his sweep single, yeah. or, or or setting it up this way. They don't. They're not entertained by it because they don't understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if we do, I mean that's the key is 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 introducing it to society and and, and kind of getting them a little bit yeah. more, uh, you know, able to comprehend what it, what it is they're seeing because it is art. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that that's a cool concept, kind of. I think I think world. how I how you start something like that is right. You take you take you get somebody like a like a top wrestler like a Jordan Bros, and then you get a fucking scrub somebody with it's really not that good, and you just make a highlight reel. A that sacrificial match. goat. Yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. But you take a, a it just just because to to the if you if you have two level high level guys, not much is hand is happening. It's just just fucking hand fighting Boy, and shit like that. To the, that. to the naked eye, people don't really know what one that is. But you see somebody get a fucking five, you're like, damn, that motherfucker went up and down. That's he's winning. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> so if I was gonna promote a wrestling match, I would you'd have the live show, but uh, the really one that I would air would be all highlights. Mm, yeah. Like, why not just break it down a six minute match to two minutes? And show all the best parts of it when you're, and that's all you got to see. Yep. I think that would be dope. Like you were saying, to have some matches before a big fight just to switch it up in a cage. Yeah. I think yeah. that. I'm down. I think I'm they're down. having that. Uh, <laughs> sign them up, bro. Where do I sign? At the end of this month, they're like wrestling in a cage, that one event. Right. Yeah. And it's on UFC Five Pass. I mean, like, that's never happened before, but that's yeah. pretty cool to see wrestling inside a cage. Yeah. I mean, maybe 
people won't be excited for some of the matchups, but it's still. Yeah, there's more and more of these dope. opportunities coming. It's happening, especially yeah, this year. There's going to be yeah. people itching to compete. Yep. Yeah, I got asked to compete again too, but I don't know. You don't know. You're out. Where at? What's the competition? Oh, uh, this fight TV hit me up the oh, other day. I don't know if I'm allowed to though. If one school starts. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't know. There might be rules, but like they asked me, they're like, they're this person. They're like, who do you want to wrestle? You pick, but someone that obviously is gonna people want to watch. Yeah. yeah. So I was thinking like, what's an old person? You should take uh, uh Darren, like, uh, the guy that trains at AK, Darren Wynn. Deron. Deron. Yeah, yeah, Deron. Someone that. He's, he's a little bit bigger Deron's than me. Deron's right? fighting on that. He's wrestling on that card. He's wrestling oh, it's Deron's a little bit bigger than me? That dude's. Oh. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's like two something. He's 230. Oh, no he's way. 230. Really? Yes. He's oh. fine. No, but I was, I was trying why to think. You, why don't you get DeSanto out of his show? I don't no, no, no. Like, I wanna, going. Not him. I want to, like, do someone, like, uh, that's, like, old. It'd be cool. I feel like it, yeah. I thought it'd be cool, like, someone who. To kind of quit come wrestling. Come back into just it. Just come yeah. back in there. Just like a, obviously. Like a Kerry Cola. Yeah, like, what the dude, fuck? yeah, just like some, a, something weird like that. Yeah. Like a Reese Humphrey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty old. Yeah. Like, <laughs> something, but like, something like that that I was thinking about that, like just getting someone like, yo, just come back for a quick match. You know, you can go. You're obviously yeah, going to make a lot. I can't make money, but you can make a you Yeah, can make somebody's a lot. got clout. It's just going to build your yeah. name a lot. Yeah, that's, shit like that's that. the way to do it. You should get an old UFC fighter. Like maybe like a Henry Cejudo. I was thinking about reaching oh, out to him. That was bro, the first person I came up to. Like, yo, bro, come back for this match. Let me take you down a couple of times. You could yeah. pick me. Go ahead. Hey, go talk some shit already. <laughs> <laughs> yo, let me whoop that ass real quick. We'll pay you. will be all yeah, hotel you, and everything. Let Free. me get a takedown or two, and then you go ahead. But I think this thing. I think uh, with wrestlers, like we can't. They can't drop. People don't know how to drop their ego down like that. I think yeah. it's always like, I gotta win. Like you know what I mean. Like Reese knows. We yeah. were talking about it the other mm-hmm. last week. I. Yeah, it's hard to grow when you have an ego. Like yeah. if you're only going to practice to try and win. You you're going to be working on your number one attack, and that's yep. it. Yep. Uh, you got to put yourself in positions, and you drill, you spar, and then it always ramps up to too much. So I got to calm people down all the time. Like, tone it down. Get scored on. Because I feel like uh, when people do that, they, they'll have a hard time. They'll, like, they'll, in competition, they'll only hit their best shit instead of taking chances, which usually outcomes in a, in a better win, better scenario for them. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I got a really good high crotch and duck under to this side, but, like, the biggest matches, I hit the single leg. Yeah, <laughs> because of, these guys know me, and they've yeah. st- shut that part down, and it's like crazy. You pull this number two, or your, your big throw comes out yeah. in the biggest matches of your career, and it's like you got to be a little bit more diverse than just one attack. Yeah. Wow, can just focus on winning. I think uh, Kale like does a good uh, job. It's like everyone in the sport, everyone wants to win. It's God given. You're in the sport. No one yeah. wants to lose. Get that out of your head. You're not going in this match to lose. I mean, you're not going in this match. Yeah, you're not going in this match to lose. Like. Nobody is. No one. No one wants to lose. So get that out of your head. It's not. It's not about winning and losing. So like, how is Kale? Kale's what? the man. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. If he if he yes. still wrestled right now, he's he'd, the best. He'd make the team. I'd make the team. 100. He's what, the best. What's, what's crazy is, is you're you're not the first person I've heard yeah. I've heard say that. You're yeah. probably the thousandth. You know what I mean? Everybody believes that. Bro, they, they, do you think he's wrestle, getting bro. better as in more more intelligent as far as wrestling? Because I think everything, so yeah. Long. And what's cool, what's cool, like Reese was saying, he does all the workouts with the guys. What's cool about the Penn State oh. dudes is they're doing it too. And like, yeah. you, when you see the old, they're old and they're still doing it and they're still whooping all of our, like, it's just more motivating and like, yeah, Kale, like, which was trash. Anyone on, Trash everybody. I can't talk. I can't talk. I'm not going to talk <laughs> yeah, down right. on anyone's names, but yeah, he's going to be yeah, everyone the goat, all the way down. Wow. wow. Like, it's, it's all the way down the ladder, he'll beat anyone. Wow. It's crazy, too. On, like, Fridays, like, sometimes they'll do, like, matches. And uh, he's just – one. I'm not going to say the guy who's wrestling, but he was wrestling someone, and, and he it was, like, a high-class high guy. And he was down, like, four points going second period. And then, he, like, they take their, like, minute break. Or if it's 30 seconds, I'm not too sure. But he's, like he – ta- he looks at me, he goes – yeah, I think I'm gonna turn it up now. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> oh, and like man. the second period comes, it's like, I mean, it's a practice match, but he, he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn it up now. I'm warmed up this now. He scores like 12 yeah, points like, straight on like a guy who's made a world team. And like, he's like, wow. joke, he jokes around yeah, the whole like, time. Like he's, John, like every, all the stuff that like all of us do kind of, he's doing that too when he wrestles, like putting his hand in his face, like just messing with the guys, pretending like he's gonna punch them and then take a shot, stepping on their feet, like all that stuff. And he just does that playing around. Like he's, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna say names, but he's being the best guys who everyone's idolizing right now in the room. Like it's nothing. It's like wow, it's fucking crazy. And it's so easy to work hard for a guy like that. Yeah, like he's doing it with me, and he's how old is he? Forty something? I don't know how old he is, but <laughs> Look, he's him. looked the same for the past twenty years. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my first my first world team was Kale's last one. Uh, so it's like, and we're like decently <laughs> close to the same speed. Like Burroughs and James Green are like sprinting hill sprints way ahead of us, but me and Kale are like fucking bumping <laughs> Like this is so cool. Oh wow! But yeah, awesome. he's the man. He's a cool dude. It's cool being around shit like that. 
Bro, was there a one specific match that put you on the map? You were like, after after I beat this guy, like people know who I am now. Mm, I don't really say that. I think I really grew a name when obviously that that backflip really really did that. But that shit, yo, that was everywhere. So yeah, that, was bro, everywhere. that was everywhere, and it's still everywhere now. It's still, yeah. but like, I hear music. Oh, uh-huh. but uh, yo, Francis, we got music playing, bro. Hey, dance party. All right, we good now. Uh-huh. But uh. One match. I don't really think there was a match. No, I just no, not really. No, one, not one specific match that, that you were like. Uh, how about your your? Oh, boy? actually, I you wrestled your boy last year. That was pretty cool. Uh, oh, Alvarez? No, 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 no. Maybe two years ago, Pletcher. Oh, okay. Oh, we Pletcher. And uh, we went into a crazy ass overtime match, and that dude, we he beat me too, but it was like he like had me it was like overtime. He had me in a double all up in the air. Put me down. I just rolled off my back, and somehow I ended up beating him. But like he was, what like three in the country. I was probably like still like ten, eleven. But yeah. that was a, that was a good one right there. <clears throat> I I remember <laughs> I remember in the, your match with Sammy Alvarez, Rutgers kid. Uh, you were like, I was, it was a, obviously a scramble that went viral. But you had a break where you guys like were on the edge of the mat, and you're like you're like kind of jogging back, and you look around, you look back, and you see him like walking towards you. And your like, first instinct was just like, shoot. shoot. And immediately, <laughs> I was like, he just went from completely relaxing. And he just shoot. saw him. He's like, oh, I got to gotta yeah. take it down. That was like, uh, it's so interesting to see because like you can see the calmness, but then you're still keeping that pace and attacking at the same time. Big yeah, 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 yeah oh, big yeah. tens. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. That's popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. They post that crap too. He's tough yeah. though, Alvarez. He's really good. He's yeah, good. yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, I guess we're I guess we're good, man. It's been a little bit over an hour. Uh, but we're at hour, hour thirty five right now. Hey, Ooh. let's go. Yeah, it's a long one, bro. I stuff. never done anything like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. It's good yeah. content. Yeah, bro. I, I may ask you first. You got uh, anything you want to plug? YouTube, Instagram. No, just Rome Bravo Young and everything. That's pretty much it. Yeah. All right, Rome Bravo Bravo Young and everything. How about you? Highlight Reese? Humphrey. Hit the YouTube YouTube.com slash Highlight Humphrey. You can hit me on Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> ebooks coming out. I got a lot, bunch of crazy stuff coming for you guys. Stay tuned. It's gonna get popping. Hell yeah! And if you guys aren't with uh, following NGRTC, please do so at Instagram. Uh, where else is NGRTC? Yeah, they got a website, NewJerseyRTC.com. You can support some of these guys out here trying to live the dream and make it happen. Man, wrestling's. Wrestling's a tough grind, so these guys need all the support they can get. Yep, they got a little bit of gear as well. Look, you got uh, CJ shirt right here, barbell apparel as well. Yes, yeah, good strong. stuff. Anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, <laughs> Justin B. Lopez. Okay. Trying to get better, man. Yeah, hell yeah. TikTok, Bruck Master Flex. <laughs> B-R-U-C-K Master Flex. Thank you. Also, nice, IG, bro. Facebook, nice. you know. Yeah, man, so we got, we got, by this time that this airs, we're going to have merch live. We're going to have commercials for it and everything, bro, so... Are you guys watching, man? Fucking buy some merch, dude. Support us. Yeah, you know? for sure, yeah. for sure. Hey, hey thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much for having us on, man. I, I love what you're doing. Keep grinding, man. The podcast, the Instagram, social media, money matches, man. You're fun to watch. We appreciate you. I appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, yeah. So thank much, you. Bro. Appreciate yeah, you guys. Yeah. Bro. All right. I'll catch you guys next time. Nikki Rod All Access. Every single beat that I hop on, yeah, body it. Rappers where I'm from, hear my flow and then they copy it. Name your top five, yeah, I promise I could top that list. Who you know be in the game that is spinning hot as this? Yeah, my name is Tony and you know that I am great. See the rolly on my wrist, I like to call that frosted flake.